previously on Tessie Teams. I believe we must free the other gods in the correct order in some way in order to defeat it. Is the Sanguilith <laughs> still within you? In a way, yes, I think so. And Mela says, will you again be a road warlock? I'm barely fit to house my own god. I'm absolutely, I accept. Next time you come to the table, you need to remake Kithris as a Hexblade. The Sanguilith is gone. You see a massive, massive ship. You have seen a ship like this, very much like this, yes. if not this ship, mm -hmm. uh -huh. in your youth. But there is no doubt that this is a Myconid, a, a star-faring Myconid vessel. We must put aside joy. But we are joy. We must set it down and become weepers all. And then we will take our joy back up. Time is the enemy, the past, and threatens the fastest weapon. You wouldn't make it past a second, and that's the question. Play it brash and reckless, or choose a cautious solution you thought was prudent. In any sepulchre, poker to do become the putrid. It's that wealth that I'm pursuing. No mountain too steep, but dungeon too deep to send expendable marks up to the top of the peak of beneath. They see you bleed, they come like sharks to it. While I swim in that money bin like Carl Barks drew it. So send your national parks, drew it. I'll send them home in a natural box with a closed top and most of the parts included. <sighs> Save your breath for a cleric confessor. Death is a lesson and life is a tenured professor. But if you're seeking my official advice, sign on the dotted line and wish it twice. It's a, hot, <laughs> it's, it's a hot dog a puppet. Oh it's no. Okay, now we're in real trouble. Is a pop tart uh, ravioli? Uh, I am. Uh, hello. I am Tycho Brahe of Panache and Pa. I'm also uh, a Memphis Herward Drun, CEO of Acquisitions Incorporated. Uh, but today I'm Jerifer K. Horkrim. Published author. Human puppet. <laughs> your internet friend. Human we're puppet. Gonna, we're going to get into this. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. We're going to answer these questions. Uh, and I'm here to run a game of Dungeons and Dragons for my friends. Uh, specifically, these organisms. To my right, Dragonborn Narcissist and Arbletson. Yes, that's correct. Great. Good, yeah. to, good to have you back, bud. Yeah. The triumphant return. <laughs> I saw the gifs. <laughs> 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 Who am I, Jerry? Uh, <laughs> oh, I got you. Uh, to the right of my right, repping the natural world, walnut, dong grass. Kakra. Kakra! I said it before him this time, so it's nice. my thing. Nice! Again. Oh. We did it. Kakra! You're reclaiming it. I am reclaiming it. Uh, to my left, uh, not your grandma's grandma. Uh, except in those rare cases where she is your grandma's grandma, Rosie Beesinger. <laughs> we don't want to fire you. What's going to come out? It's the Acquisitions Incorporated book. We're okay. going to put this in in post. On sale it, now. Oh, yeah, I was just going to say, <laughs> well, we should have given you a, a flat green rectangle yeah. to hold. There's a book to hold. Start over. Yeah, we're going to do the whole thing Dump again. Dump it. Um, There's like eight people sitting here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and obviously, <laughs> how, many, how, many, how many books will come? <laughs> I don't know. And, uh, to the left uh, of my left, uh, emerging, uh, well, and indeed, fully ensconced within yep. a mist shroud, uh, Kathris Draub. Oh, oh. Then, he's not here though for yeah, the podcast. It's, it's different. Oh, yeah, I was just going to say if you if you're you know, arriving here via the maybe podcast, he's over here. <laughs> Whoa! 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 Yeah, all the way up. We'll Hi, put Chris. Him in post. Hi, Chris. Can you hold it in front beep, of your face, beep, like beep. for the whole show? Is that possible? Shut your puppet mouth. All right. No. <laughs> Old Alyssa was faster. Hey. <laughs> now put this over his it's picture. Not, it's not a competition. We're not trying to sell uh, this, this guy. Yeah. There we are. No, there we go. Thanks. Beautiful. I, 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 I think it's hold it. It. That's that's another. It's tough fine. It's fine if you take it right now. <laughs> now. Uh, a couple of different things. Uh, obviously, uh, at the beginning of the show, we activate the cauldron. At any rate, that's what it says on the sheet that Alyssa gave me. Uh, and I never don't read uh, what she gives me immediately. Um, we're partnering with uh, 
uh, the creators of Idol Champions, Code Name Entertainment. Here, just, just come in, just, just real quick, just run in real quick. They're here. And then, oh, geez, just they're ready like, to go. There we go. And then it's like, okay, these, <laughs> we're talking about these organisms. Okay. All right, now, yeah. get back in your hole. Um, <laughs> uh, get back in your hole. Uh, so, the very first cauldron of each show uh, will be filled depending on the amount of Idol Champions players in the week uh, before each episode. Those that toil, of course, in Omen's quest mines. It is a toil. Indeed, indeed. Uh, play Points. my quest. You'll see it up at the top. Uh, it's Omen's quest uh, to influence whether or not good or bad things will happen on the first cauldron. Tip uh, each week, there's also a free gold chest given to everyone in chat. You can see that mm. code, it's going to pop up. It's going to be a real treat. Pour toi. Hmm. Um, of course, uh, 69% full, <laughs> as you will see. I suspect they worked very hard. Oh, no way. Yes! Oh, nice. So you've, been, right. you've, been, oh, you've been hoping for it. A little yep. something for the effort. They yeah, worked right. real, real oh, hard. Wait, is that what the red means? Yeah. Oh, yeah. so it's all. Oh, that much is bad? Or it turns red? I don't know. This is new. That much is the color change is new. By Idol Champions. Yes. 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 All right. And then what's the blue though? Extra since it's the show started. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it turned it. red to Got denote it. that it, it was more it bad than good. Uh, now, no. uh, no. what everybody oh. voted for was good fortune. When I say everybody, of course, I mean... You weren't yeah. here. You don't know. I mean 53%. <laughs> So it's very close. Fifty-three I mean, percent voted good. Yeah. So I mean, it's very, very. <laughs> it's a near thing. So first of all, we have. First of all, they are always watching it. This is the thing about the Shadow Council that you have to sort of onboard, is that they are always trying to game this stuff. I remember once I had something. It's like, oh, I got a couple of bad things that are supposed to happen to Brahma. Me and me and me. And then <laughs> I was like, hey, you can have this one. You can have this one. Yeah, and they yeah. purposefully like balanced it out, like down to the vote. Oh, For 50%, 50%, and I was like, oh, okay, well, I guess I should just use this one. And then I find out later, it's like, oh, no, we've oriented the entire universe to create this particular outcome, which is a very Shadow Council thing to do. Yeah. What I'm mm. saying is I'm in Idol Champions for hours every day. My productivity, down. It's tanked. I'm doing all these quests. <laughs> I've done them every single week. I vote bad, bad fortune all the time, and then I can see it. I see that little ratio haunting me. Haunting me with that good yeah. fortune. You gotta start new accounts. That's what you have to. Don't yeah. tell the codename guys. You they are have within earshot. No good. <laughs> you have no good voting quest ideas. ideas. <laughs> but I think that the big. I think that it's getting closer and closer. And I think because you can see it, and so I, it would not surprise me if they were if it was going to fifty three, and that's just where it ended up. But what they were trying to do was to create some kind of gray outcome. Like the gray Jedi theorized by the gray goo, you know, the, the, the enthusiast community, right? Gray goo, balanced mm -hmm. Jedi. That's yes. not yeah. connected to this at all. Yeah. It all right. Is. Uh, if, if in it any was case, exactly fifty fifty. The uh, universe yeah. would be engulfed. New quest: uh, kill two hundred fifty boss monsters. Uh, that is how you can best serve uh, my player character. Two hundred fifty, you monsters. Vote good. <clears throat> it's hardcore. Smother us in kisses. Don't do that now. <laughs> uh, this is the most vital thing. Now you said, or you suggested, at any rate, that there was going to be a, a puppet show phase. To the oh. recap, is that correct? Is no, I just was gonna do a thing where it was like, uh, I'm a puppet, and this is a puppet, and this is what happened last week. Right. And then I and then I do it. Uh, Please. Okay, that's. Oh. Well, I, I mean, mean. Yeah. I'd like it. That's By the same. Means. Walnut was here, and Brahm was here, and they just went. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that was the whole episode. It was pretty great. And where was Dinar? Gone. So oh, pretty good. It's the best weird. episode ever. Yeah. <laughs> glad. <laughs> Oof. <clears throat> but uh, what, what can he happen? leave again? <laughs> the uh, the main. The, the big takeaways, uh, I think, are that uh, Kathris Draub in their new, uh, they have a new lease on life. They're trying a new shake um, that they heard about from a friend uh, via social media. It's not an MLM. It's, I think it's actually like a legitimate opportunity. Nice. Hmm. The EPA is not an MLM. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> Jerry's still out. <laughs> uh, but it's like this. Uh, via the same process, uh, that enabled uh, Maliki to, or Malith to cast uh, Tiamat out of Brahma. Brahma suggested, wonderingly, uh, if the same thing might be able to happen in reverse, if the rest of the Sangloth could be pushed out of Kathris uh, by Malith. Uh, they endeavored to do so. Uh, and apparently, as near as we can tell, they succeeded. Uh, a new warlock pack was forged. Uh, between Malith and Kathris, uh, transforming Kathris into something that is called a Hexblade Warlock, which is a, uh, a in the, I mean, under the best of circumstances, is a terrifying opponent. 
Um, but it's easy to see how a hex blade utterly devoted to uh, fall and winter, the reaping seasons, um, could be especially spooky in that context. Ooh. Also spooky. How many owns? It's a lot. So, but this is the other takeaway. Um, and uh, that is that uh, as the Sanguilith was desperately seeking for this functionally invisible craft, uh, this, uh, the library militarum that uh, the Tome Nooks travel around in, uh, the ship was expertly piloted, of course, uh, by Rosie Beestinger. Um, and when uh, she was about to, when something terrible was about to happen, uh, these uh, crystals that had been sent by the Sanguilith to sort of flush out the ship uh, were contained inside spongy masses. Um, if you're looking for a band name, consider it. Um, <clears throat> but this was, the, this was the preface for the return of the Myconid uh, craft. I heard uh, that. It's my belly. I know. I heard um, that grumble. <laughs> so that that vessel uh, is now alongside the uh, library militarum craft, uh, and everybody else at this table who is not a Dinar Blitzen um, is currently wrapped up in a deeply novel a form of communion called the meld, similar to what you experienced before in season one. This is like in a comic book where they're like. Like, hey, there's a little breakout box. Yeah, it's like, little, hey, check out issue 12. Yeah. Uh, that's the situation. I miss those. <clears throat> uh, you are, uh, you have found yourself uh, newly conscious inside the medical ward hmm. of the Library Militarum, having discovered virtually every room uh, inside this vessel that a person can be injured in. <laughs> uh, so you. <laughs> How many the, sword rooms you guys got? Over the last 24 hours, you've <clears throat> been here no less than three times. <laughs> wow. You, you have to do a full wow. rest and then heal yourself. Uh, and then you go back I out. To heal myself? You go, there's <clears throat> no one helping? You go back out. I mean, they've got like, you know, medicine, but it's yeah. not. But Denar Blitzen has very high expectations for a practitioner. I got small medicine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. this big. It's like, Your it's love like. Is like They'd have, Small <coughs> they'd have to use all of it. What's that? Small medicine is what I need. Whoa, ho, ho. Yeah. Did you just come up with that? Rosie Beesing, everybody. No. That's pretty good. <laughs> uh, but but you you are you are there, and there is a uh, a halfling blanket uh, tucked neatly under your chin, like a bib. Yeah. How far down does it go? Not far. Not even to the belt. Oh. I'm wearing a belt though. Yeah. Well, but that's it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the negative. Where are my photo clothes? Negative. <laughs> Get this, I don't usually wear a belt. What is happening? <laughs> I woke up with a big red shank around me. What's going on? <laughs> oh my god, they tourniqueted my whole body. <laughs> <laughs> right in the middle. Oh, I hate this place more and more. It's sword rooms and, and weird medical bays. Yeah, you just. <clears throat> uh, and then outside, uh, as I've described before. Yeah. Um, each of the there's there's privacy, uh, sort of in each bed that exists in their medical bay. How big are the beds? Uh, the bed it is two beds pressed together, as we've described before. Okay, but is that still enough? Yeah, it's not great. It's not great. There's a lot of legs. You're, you're sort of like riding the bed, uh, like a hor motorcycle, horizontally or vertically pushed together. It's, it's you know ma what? This matters. <laughs> They're both on the ground, <laughs> such as it is. All right. It's also in space. What do you want? <laughs> right now, <clears throat> but uh, every now and then, uh, almost in stereo, you can just sort of hear like gentle laughs uh, and giggles, mm. just like outside the circular curtain of the uh, of the bed. <laughs> All right. So and it seems to be traveling, but you can just hear the laughs sort of moving around. Um. Does it sound like it's directed at me? Do they know I'm there? Do I infer? <laughs> I, I, I love that Denar's first. They left me. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, I, lo I love that. That's Denar. the first yeah. idea. Yeah. Uh, you don't think so, but you can't be sure, and that's definitely worth checking out. Yeah. You want to tamp something like that down right away. Uh, they may not know that you're royalty. Yeah. Tamp, tamp down. Uh, please no. <laughs> so I sing this song. Yep. Do da. I go do da. The top of my own voice. Uh, I say, uh, 
Tamp down for what? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I say, uh... For the podcast, I've just raised my arms in triumph. Stop laughing at me! <laughs> <laughs> For the podcast, we're raising signs that say no jokes. And, and I, I hate, hate fun. fun. Frowny face. <clears throat> there's no... There's, there's no response. I mean, there's, there's additional laughter, but it's hard to... It'd be hard to say that it's connected to anything that's happening with you. All right. I get... Uh, mad because I assume they're laughing at me, and I f- flail out of bed and I flail the, the the drape aside, and I stand up naked in full glory. Why just is everyone always naked? Yeah. I don't know. He's the DM. <laughs> you said I'm, said I'm wearing a, a bib, and that's it. And a belt. A bib and a belt. Two you bits. Bet. Yeah, <laughs> you're ready to go. You're ready to go to the party. I'm ready. Um, no, so. Uh, you can have the clothes on that you want. That's fine. However you want to do it. Whatever you think is best. Uh, right. I say, where's my where's my stuff? Do I have my do I have my swords? Do I have my weapons? But yeah, yeah. Every, everything that everything that you own is here. Okay. Uh, oh. Like you, like you would have said, I said <laughs> nothing 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 bad. It's all around him. Yeah. Just, where's my stuff? <laughs> where's my, <laughs> so just a, no, it's, a it's chair. Neat, no, no, it's with, neatly. It's like yeah. neatly, perfectly arranged. But you're still mad. Yeah. It's just stop laughing at me. Where are my things? Where's my stuff? <clears throat> Don't make fun of me. Where's my things? That's that's peak dinar. Yeah, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. This is it. And I fall back asleep. And I fall back asleep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's great having you back. <laughs> yeah. Great scene. Um, is that? Yeah, I, I yell. I'm. I'm. I mean, I'm engaging in conflict. I'm acting with agency, Jerry. <laughs> what happens then? What? what I'll just keep going. All right, I throw the curtain aside. I see the vision of Cthris. He's dead. Wow. His old body is there haunting me. You give him a taste. It's like, I don't know. (laughs) I'm just waiting for you to say something. Of the screen. I know. And now it's in his blood. Yep. So his. That's how it happens. His infested. No. (laughs) Oh. Uh, You you see uh, three or four halflings, like, not looking at each other. Just kind of moving around the space, exploring the space, mm. um, uh, as though this is a kind of uh, art installation that is a, a limited engagement. Okay. Um, they seem deeply interested in the textures. All right. Um, there's a lot of you would say um, uh, intimacy uh, <laughs> with fabrics. There's something very interesting happening on the surface, and maybe at the at the tips of the fingers. They, they rub in a uh, Vicks Vapor Rub on each other? No. no. They got binkies? I know what you're, I know what you're describing <laughs> glow here. glow sticks? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they keep chewing. Is, is this drugs? They got a wiry yeah. jaw. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can, I, can you give me a perception roll? Pulls. Money. 16. That's very good. Um, it's, it's as you, uh, as you move through, you think that you can see like a dim, like a uh, a sparkle every so often, just in the air of the of the ship. You think that you can see just like particles of something floating through the ship. Ugh. Um, uh, all right. I will. Uh, do I recognize this behavior? Having, I mean, I'm operating with uh, knowledge that Brian has that maybe Denard doesn't, but. When when we first encountered the Mykonids and we went on that so weird Mike and Ikes. Mike and Ikes, yeah. When we first encountered uh, Good and Plenty's <laughs> God bless it. Did uh <laughs> like that was from the inside, right? From the yeah. outside looking in. Would he have any would he be able to parse this together or no? It's it's possible. Yeah. All right. Um, I pick one of them up and just start uh, I go every, What's wrong with you? Every problem. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He puts he puts his Hands on your face. I hold him farther out so he can't he reach his reaches, hands to my face. And he's just pawing at the air in front of your face. It, the look, a look of no, delight. No, stop it. What's for dinner? Where's the <coughs> where's the cafeteria? Where am I? Uh, uh, he's, he just he paws a few more times, yeah. and as he sees he can't gain access to it, he just throws his both of his arms up together and says. We are joy. Ugh. I just drop him in like 
Ugh, disgust. Like, <laughs> ugh. And then, uh, then I get dressed. And then, finally, <laughs> yeah. And I put my gear back on. And Strap then it up. I'll, uh, noting the the particles, I will put uh, gas mask. Yeah, pull up. <laughs> so I've got a gas mask. I haven't ever got to use it until now. Uh -huh. um, nice. Yeah. You, you, listen, I know that you're new to Dungeons and Dragons, but trust me, behind the screen we've seen this sort of behavior. Oh, really? No, I've got I've got random stuff that I've never used. Not a gas mask. Climbers kit. Uh, uh, I know, but the, let's the, say I've got some sort of. The truth of cloth. is, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, I think that yeah. So An it, undershirt. Yeah, I don't it, wear. Yeah, you pull it up. Oh. I'll wrap it around my face. Yeah, okay, you got the cloak. I mean, you can. Yeah. Oh yeah, I got the cloak over. too. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you're ready to roll. Um, the truth is, is that well, here, give me, give me an intelligence check. Oh geez. Negative twenty. Uh, you can add nature if you want to. I don't think that helps. Yeah, I don't expect I there to be nature. anything there. Nature is zero. It, I said it mostly to taunt you. <laughs> Actually, my intelligence even. Hey! 16 again. Wow. I'll roll one more time if you want. No, no, no. You, <laughs> how many 16s do you want? Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, being Dinar, in, a, in a, uh, an abundance of caution, has pulled it over, but it occurs to uh, the prince that you have almost certainly inhaled a lot of this. Ugh. I mean, it's all around you. And you just woke up. Yeah. You you think you've inhaled about as much as you're going to. Hmm. Uh, you're not sure why it doesn't affect you. Because oh. it just certainly affected you at some point. You know that you have been caught up in this meld before. It could be nothing other than that drape that was around the bed. So I cut that into pieces. <laughs> and I clog up my nose holes and my ear holes. <laughs> you, you and I stretch it real thin across my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a sort of see through it, and I go. Now I'm safe. You give it that little twist. Yeah. I love it. Okay. Uh, now, I'm trying to figure. It. So, at the very end of the last adventure, you had all been wrapped up into the milk, but I'm trying to remember exactly where you were physically in the. Oh, we were on the. You were on deck. the. You were on the deck. You we were, were on the deck, the deck, deck the and we. Yeah. Have been told that we would become weepers yes. all. We, exactly. I think we perceived ourselves on the Mykonid vessel. Exactly. But yeah, yeah. We no, were no that, I remembered that part. I right. just couldn't remember where you had been when you had gotten absorbed into that yeah, on the communal deck, space. Flying the ship. Um, yes. At the mention of weepers, and that calls that calls you back. It's enough of a shock. It's enough of a shock to your system, because you've been in that. You have been in, in that moment before. For anyone else to hear about a weeper, I mean, they might not have been uh, included in that meld before, but you know perfectly well, because some members of the party were weepers, which means that all of them were in some way. Oh, that's right. Weepers are the weapon forms of the Mykonid craft. Right. They are essentially conscious weapon. They're, they're conscious weapons. They're missiles that have a purpose and they serve the hive by being dangerous. Right. And what they've asserted is that this entire craft, which you are perfectly aware of its size and scale, they're asserting that they need to transform this entire thing and maybe even their entire culture into something like a weapon. And that is enough for people who have already been in it to shake loose some aspects of the meld. And so, uh, as you sort of drop out of the, basically, it's something that's happened to your high, functionally speaking. Mm -hmm. oh, um, I know, right? It, it's gotten blown. Yeah. Um, uh, but as you sort of fall out of the suspension of that communal space, um, you can see that the others here are not. Uh, they are not equally moved by that. Uh, they are still sort of moving around and uh, on the bridge. Uh, Reaching over, trying to touch stuff, and it's this. It's vitally important that I establish this for both of you, because some of them have begun to look at the controls of the vessel oh, no. with keen enthusiasm and perhaps deep, uh, deep intention. No, um, I'm still at the helm, or or am I? Oh yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. You, you, that's where you were before. Okay. Um, you have managed to not control it. But oh. there are definitely people coming over that want to be a part of the 
uh, operation of this vessel. No, no. Oh, okay. And what do their eyes look like? Are they just glazed over or...? Absolutely. Yeah, they, they are looking at things, but you don't think they're looking at the same things you are. Okay. I got my tiny little arms around the helm. <laughs> like, no! <laughs> no! I, I, I'm looking around to see if anybody else is conscious of <clears throat> Sorrel uh, pads over uh, to you at that sharp bark. Yeah. Um, and she pushes... She pushes one of them away, uh, who had been trying to get uh, around, trying to gain access to the device. She's like, I can't believe these people. I don't even know if they're... <laughs> 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 and she's trying to reach simultaneously over the top arm and then below the bottom arm, and it is a, oh. a giggle buffet. She, this is like... Well, she's trying to gain full access to these controls. And she's giggling? Oh, yeah. I... Does she? Can she, does she get to him? Do I? Am I fast enough to this block is, her? This is Dungeons and Dragons. Should I roll something? Uh, you can interact with this universe. Just explore the space. Okay. Uh, how does a dexterity saving throw sound to you? I like it. Okay. Uh, you, might, you might want to put. I mean, is there any other juice you can throw in there? I mean, it's, it's better than just about any of my other rolls. Hit it. Dex saving throw is a plus eight. Okay. okay. So that's did 20. you just roll a sixteen? I did. Yeah. Three sixteens in a row. That's the same Stone as a 20. Cold Steve 16, Austin. yeah. Um, <laughs> says I just twenty four. Okay, uh, she uh, <laughs> she has attempted, and it's like you got to give her credit because there's like a nice over juke, and then like the real switcheroo. But you've seen all this before. That kind Technical of terms. That, those, <laughs> those those nimble fingies they run in the family. Yeah, yeah, it's exactly. But you're this is like. Big sister stuff. Yeah, like this yeah, yeah. is not a big deal for you. That's um, so top, you're, top. you're 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 able to get that you're able to get that arm barred mm-hmm. and then uh, distracted over there and then she immediately is redirected um, by some stimuli <laughs> okay. uh, over in another region. But there is another bank of buttons whose purpose you are not familiar with at all, Walnut. Mm-hmm. Uh, and there are now two separate enthusiasts, all of whom. Want to get their mitts on these blinking lights? Oh, um, I don't have any patience for that uh, whatsoever. They're running fast. Um, great. They're walking fast. Cool. Um, well, I are they walking w- or running? I, I was just thinking about the song. Oh. Okay. Oh. Um, okay. I would like to. They're stoned. Distract them thoroughly. Ooh. Um, and I'm going to distract them with, uh, I'm going to make a flaming sphere. <laughs> Not on them. <laughs> Hear me out. Dude, listen, so you're going to use magic. I'm going to basically, this is my version of prestidigitation. Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, so I'm going to use flaming sphere um, and make this big green ball. Um, and it is going to be uh, is like green right flame? up to, always. It's, yeah. Green flame. Is that a thing? Uh, and it's up, like up to the left or the right or whatever the hell. Um, and uh, I, I want to see if that distracts them. Oh my god! Yeah, a, a pulsing, burning orb. Yeah, so of brightly colored sulfurous flame. So I just kind of leave yeah. that hanging there. Yeah, it gets the it, yeah it it seizes the eye. And then I look at the controls <clears throat> and I'm overcome. And I press all the buttons. Yeah. No! Yeah. You start on one side. <laughs> Rainbow. <laughs> Rosie, no. Oh, no. <laughs> the only danger thus far is that you may have founded some kind of a religion hmm. inadvertently. Oh, again? Yeah, yeah. Is this? yeah, again, another time. <clears throat> but you think that that is, you, you, you think that this is right now is a sufficient lure Fantastic. Uh, for these. Um, Concert goers. Let's see. Oh, not, not everybody at a concert is on mushrooms. You do know that, right? Which what? Do, what? Depends, on, depends on the concert you're going to. <laughs> yeah. I think this is Dave Matthews. Yeah, oh. this fish. Satellite <laughs> with pH. Um, uh, absolutely. So you, as you as you instantiate this new god for mm. the space halflings, mm-hmm. uh, you can hear a. A scritch and a <laughs> scribble in my book. In your book. Oh man! Uh, well, I look and make sure that they're good and well uh, distracted, and if they are, then I will look in my book. Uh, if you'd be so kind, 
Oh! <coughs> well, that gets the cauldron. Oh, yum, no. yum. Yeah. 53%. A cauldron. <gasps> oh! I don't know. I don't fuck around. So, uh, there is just a, a, a brief note. I got it. Written, <laughs> written I in, just the, got that. in the in the top of the book. Yeah. Uh, on the left page, mm-hmm. uh, you can tell simply by the handwriting <clears throat> who it is. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> it's a Memphis Herald drawn CEO of Acquisitions Incorporated. Gasp. <laughs> um, and it says it just says like in a in a like an unhurried hand. It just says, "Are you well?" <laughs> you up? <laughs> uh, you up? Uh, okay, so Walnut goes to write back in the middle of all this. Why not? Yeah, exactly. Um, like, everything is. <laughs> dude, this is it. Dude, are you gonna? You should get posted up somewhere. Like everybody else, like there's this ball, and you're like fighting, you're wrestling your sister. <laughs> um, she goes to respond quickly, and then pulls <clears throat> her pen back, thinks for a minute, and then writes, "Ask my other half." <laughs> Uh, I got a boyfriend. <laughs> is that no. the equivalent of like, I'm sorry? No, like, no. Ask, ask my clone. Yeah, oh, oh, no, I what know exactly okay, what okay. it is. Oh, I thought it was, yeah. ask Brahma. D- shutting this down. You're like, no, no I'm good, <laughs> dude. You know what, in the AU, yes. Yeah. That's amazing. He's, he's, he's shooting a shot. <laughs> shooting yeah, he's shot. shooting a shot. You know, yeah. God bless him. Yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, the message that comes back says, I, I'd rather not. And this is, this is the walnut I have chosen. Oh. And I, I want to make sure that you have absolutely everything that you need to succeed uh, in the negotiation. Um, in the negotiation, uh, walnut just sends back three question marks. <clears throat> and then he says, take a look at this. Oh, no. um, and then... <laughs> The next page, <laughs> 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 yeah, and it's just like the page just starts to slowly set it up. No, 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 no. it's like a dot uh, matrix. Like, e- 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 what is that? I'm gonna, yeah, like a, I'm gonna close that. Like, like a, a lock. sad baby. What is no, that? Exactly. E- and it's, it has to have like oh. a diary style lock. It's like, uh, nah. okay, gonna put that in a bag and then put that bag in a bag, then put that bag in space. Oh my god. Um, okay, but what do I really see? Please um, erase it, that from my memory. Yeah, exactly. So the next, the next several pages, uh, perhaps twenty. I mean, you're, you're, you're there. It's coming as fast as you can flip the page. Okay, is a series of. Uh, it's essentially a contract, but it is a contract Great. between. It, it's already been filled out. Mm-hmm. It's not for you. I mean, it's it's clearly okay. it's this is clearly like it's already stamped as having been Done. authorized. Right. Okay. This isn't uh, for you to. Act on even. It's just information that he clearly thinks that you'll find useful. Okay, great. So what is it? Um, and essentially, it talks about the ownership. It's an arrangement of shared ownership mm-hmm. of Acquisitions Incorporated. It's something like a, a founding document. Okay. Um, refreshed only a couple of years ago. It looks like mm-hmm. something must have changed a couple of years ago that required. This is documents level three stuff, obviously. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm um, well versed. Yeah. Essentially, it goes into the ownership structure of Acquisitions Incorporated uh, with a recognition that there is more than one Omen drawn oh. currently in existence. Yes. And then at the very end, so it goes through, it's, it's sort of like, what does ownership look like? Mm-hmm. We all own the same things. Mm-hmm. How do we apportion their ownership? Yes. How do we resolve disputes? And it goes through there, and there are seven <gasps> omen drawns <gasps> signed at the end. <laughs> Wowie. What? Wowie zowie. Thank you, Josh. Um, I hope he chose a different said, color. Said, I hope this is oh, like. I hope so too. No, no, it's like a There's Power Rangers one. thing. Yeah. Is, they got is the omen pose. currently still purple? Roy G. Biz. One is. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, meet Red Omen. Okay, okay. So that fights Fire Omen. He said, yeah. <laughs> in the coming negotiations, um, so he's referring to... The moment he suggested before with, where in a few months... Right, right, right. That there would be two uh, There would months. be... He would be here. There would be two nuts. Great. Um, 
do I have everything that I need for the negotiations? Um, uh, after the after the very last signature, yeah, uh, the same handwriting comes in, and it's uncanny. Six of the Omen signatures look almost identical, and then one is slightly different. Really? It's yeah. It's in a less steady, less even hand. Maybe oh. with the left hand. Do you think? Oh, interesting. I was just about to ask what. Uh, but Omen but is. right after that, uh, the more the the steadier the hand that you recognize having corresponded before, uh, re-enters, uh, and it says, uh, "This should help." Okay. Um. The contract should help. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I just say... Uh, it, it, this should help. And then as you're about to write again, he says, it's just not that big a deal. <laughs> it's just not that big a deal. Um, I write Ooh. back and I say... Um, uh, I say, for her sake, make sure she's armed. Whoa! She is. Walnut! Dude, that's delicious. <clears throat> um, and then after, after you say make sure she's armed, mm -hmm. the last thing he writes is his own signature. And what does it look like? The sigil. It looks like um, a oh. circle with an eye through it. Okay. Much like you might find in the very first page of the Acquisitions and Corporate. Designed by an incredible mind, I'm sure. What's it look wow. like? What's that such a well, book look like? I wish we had first page. a prop that we could look at. Oh, hey. Oh, yeah. It's something like... Indeed. This? But he doesn't write the full name. He just writes Don't the sigil. read too much. Sigil. You gotta buy it. <laughs> that was just a taste. <laughs> Everyone give us a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, unrelated. Uh, but <clears throat> so, uh, Dinar, you're looking around uh, after a while of uh, continued enthusiasm. Uh, eventually, you can tell that they're uh, the orderlies, like their interest in. Uh, textures and tiles seems to be waning. Yeah. Um, is there? Uh, I want to take inventory of this uh, medical facility. What's uh, what's in there? What's like what, what kinds of things do they have? Yeah. Uh, they have a. They're essentially something like um, racks, almost like a racks um, on racks on racks. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Uh, but in this case, these racks include. Uh, they're obviously stoppered potions. Mm. Something like uh, something that you might have seen. Like um, I think it was mostly walnut that went in there. Uh, but actually, eventually, she gave it to Walnut. Something like a, an herbalist's library. Mm. Uh, is there um, <clears throat> something akin to a, a broom closet? Uh, <laughs> or or like um, a, a mop or anything? <clears throat> a, a place where a place where yeah. things are where, where a long cleaning stick. objects are stored. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If you wanted to find a broom in here, really bad, you could. All right. So. Dinar doesn't understand a hundred percent what's going on. He's inferring. Uh, incorrectly, that um, uh, uh, well, he's inferring that everyone's infected with something. It's floating in the air. He thinks he's protected because of the the cloth, um, and he's <laughs> which is over the eyes, deathly and the mouth and afraid nose. now of an infection entering or exiting any room. <laughs> so, I'm gonna get a, a mop and just sort of hold it out and like push, push. Doesn't want to touch the the halflings anymore. Just kind of push them. And then push one ahead through the door, hmm. like you first, sort of thing. But he doesn't want to touch him. He's, he's trying to leave. He's just like, pushing him out. Really good mental picture. Oh, yeah. so it's it's like curling. It kind of. You're just yeah. sort of like trying to create the space. He's just he's like, trying to make it so that the space around he's pushing them around these is encouraging. Stone little halflings <laughs> in like what is essentially like a, a stone zombie apocalypse, like halfling apocalypse, and picture him like in full. <laughs> zombie <laughs> fighting regalia, <laughs> just pushing them around, kind of yeah, like with like a blind being, person walking stick, just like nudging them out of the way. Yeah, being resourceful. A blind person walking stick is classically called a cane. <laughs> to you. All right. Well, it's a mop anyway. So. <laughs> For table talk. Um, I'll write it down. We'll get into what these rods are called. Mm. Um, <clears throat> I was painting uh, a picture with my words, Jerry. So as you as you scooch, uh, as you scooch out. Uh, your stone halfling. Um, like the first thing you see as soon as the as soon as the uh, this aperture opens and you head back out uh, onto the uh, coil that sort of surrounds it, these stairways that mm -hmm. Dinar loves so well. Um, I mean, immediately in front of you, like the first thing you see 
is a spacefaring vessel hmm. that is that fills your vision. You would have to turn your head to see all of it. Hmm. Okay, I turn my head. You see all of it. Wow, that's big. <laughs> <clears throat> it's really, really big. And then, as you see, I mean, but you. It's just so stupid. <laughs> Surreal. <laughs> that's the show you can watch for free. That's the clip, that's the clip people crave. Um, but uh, its shape is changing as you see it. Ugh. I mean, you were, and you can you remember? I mean, having seen or in, possibly even been uh, a craft of this type before. I mean, it would. It's more than a year ago now. Um, Giving them a lot of credit. Yeah, <laughs> I, I guess that's fair enough. But. Uh, the shape of it is changing. It isn't uh, like growing. It isn't like uh, morphing or becoming bulbous or something. You're actually seeing parts of it, sort of like uh, loosen, fall forward, or just fall away and float away into space. Huh. Uh, and what they reveal under it, so that the the base ship is spaceship. It's pronounced spaceship. Mm -hmm. Jerry, we're He's in right. space. He's right about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. That's that's a note. It's a good note. <laughs> Space not base. Space. Thank you. Oh, all right. <laughs> I'm circling the S. You know. All right now. Learn something new today. <clears throat> so, uh, it's it's not hard to to ascertain like the material it's constructed from, but um, as these sort of like uh, these plates uh, loosen and fall away, what you see underneath is much. Uh, Sleeker and sharper. Mm. I mean, it's a very or like the the original form is very sort of bulbous as you'd expect, um, organic in nature. But the craft that it is slowly becoming as these plates fall away is uh, has many more uh, many more sharp edges. Uh, uh, also, in the regions you might almost also almost consider thorny, strange patches in different places that look like. Uh, bundles of uh, twitching eyes. Uh, so it's 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 shifting its mode. Yeah. Uh, into another uh, into another shape. Can I see from where I am on these uh, stairs? Uh, is it is it docked? <clears throat> no, it's it's just very near the okay, ship. But close. you can but you can see that. I don't see like a an arm or some no, sort no, of there, tendril. There's there's, okay. there's no uh, there's nothing like that yet. Um, we'll see where it goes. Yeah. See where the, we'll see where the night takes yeah, I mean, we got a lot you of time, I mean? you know? Ah! So, uh, but just emanating from this craft in either form is just a dense cloud of these uh, glitter-like sparklies. Mm. Technical term. Yeah. Sparklies. sparklies. Glitter-like sparklies. Glitter-like sparklies. Um, shine like a diamond. Uh, I... Go, I nudge uh, the closest uh, zombie halfling and I go, eh? And then when he doesn't respond, I, I go, nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's, he's uh, discovered his palms. Oh. <laughs> oh. You're going to be busy. I this might be a while. Yeah, that was for the first time. <laughs> this might be a while. They call them fingers, but I don't see them thing. Oh, there they go. Uh, I. I push him up against the wall, and I just keep walking. Just for your safety, yeah. Just like and just park to, him. Yeah, he's fine. I set him down. Yeah, <laughs> I I go up. Uh, I'm on a on a mission to find uh, the three of them. Uh, yeah. So as you uh, when you arrive uh, at the very top in the sort of uh, inverted gem like shape that makes up the bridge, uh, you can see. Like in the very, like sort of like burning in the very top is an orb of green flame. Oh, great! Uh, that uh, more than one halfling um, has devoted its life to. Um, Incredible. And then as you enter the door and look down, Sorrel is just seated against the edge of the door, uh, looking just sort of like looking up at the uh, at the orb and then out the gem. Uh, toward this massive ship that's reforming itself. I I get caught up in it as well. Oh my god, it's beautiful. <laughs> I sit down it's next to Emerald Sorrel. Gym. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'll. Uh, I mean, it's par for the course with this giant ship and all this other wackiness going on. Um, 
but I'll take inventory. I yeah, yeah. My uh, you, you can see Rosie is, uh, I mean, like a like at an orphanage, like protecting a plate mm. type level I, of of uh, of defense. Yeah, I don't happening. like to let the kids yeah. at the orphanage touch my food. I run over. <laughs> I go, Rosie. Oh my God, it's so good to see you. What do you What do you think about your palms? Fine, I guess, but I'm also studying you. I can't see through <laughs> yeah, your thing. Yeah, covered I'm in. Like, no, ah. I know your mouth is like moving. Yeah. But it's like moving against the inside of the sheet. Yeah, he's yeah. essentially got like a pillowcase over his head. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm not 100 percent sure that you're sober, <laughs> so I'm like, either, don't I, touch. Do not touch this. I'm not 100 percent sure you are either. How are you okay? Uh, I, I wasn't. I was. Joy. How are you okay without this? <laughs> Pull out these cut up rags. Uh, I was joy. For I don't know how long. Oh, but, dude, I'm too late. <laughs> but I'm not anymore. <laughs> put this in your mouth and ears. <laughs> it just starts smushing fabric at I you. I take. I put it. I put it in my mouth and in my ears, and I'm wide-eyed. <laughs> no what? <laughs> it should kick in any second. <laughs> it's not. It's not kicking. Yeah. In. He thinks it is. It's where it can't, okay. Yeah, so. now he believes you. Okay. And now it he took trusts a few you. Seconds. <laughs> now he trusts you. <laughs> where, are the, uh, where are the, oh, where are the chuckleheads? Oh, <laughs> I just look at you two and I go, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> we got, we were there, we were, we were joy, I was happy. Um, but they said something about weepers, and then we were back. I don't know what that means. <laughs> do we ever? Did we the, ever actually hear the term weepers back. when we were doing? Yeah, our, definitely. Okay. Uh, so Dinar and Walnut were weepers. That's right. Oh, that's okay. Right. So they're right. they're intimately familiar with what that represents. All right. Try that's that scene again. Dinar's in denial. Yeah. Yeah. Was, yeah. I don't know what that means. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's how it should be. Yeah. That's how it is. Oh sure. All right. Okay, um, do you are you listening to this conversation? Yeah, and you heard the weepers thing too. That's, yeah, this come this is Rosie. Did I not? Yes, you I heard, did. You heard that same weepers message. Yes, I did. So, uh, can I, can we also see the transformation of the mic and its shape? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 large enough that it can even be seen from the upper dome. Okay. Um, so it it clearly looks like it's transforming from something kind of biological into more of a weapon. Well, it's it's definitely a biological, a biological weapon. weapon. I mean, essentially the the, Thorns, the eyes. exactly, but the weeper form um, is uh, black in color. Okay. Um, and the that that bioform was sort of like in tubes, like ready to be launched at other vehicles, like the Neogi mine spider ships that you had seen before. But uh, this whole thing looks like it's designed to either be that or just do that. Okay. Yeah, I thought the first time they were, I thought they were like submarine type. Mm. Thought I remembered. Well, yeah, it's, it's the missile itself is a myconid body. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Okay. Um, so I don't. I, I was not a weeper. Hmm, I, I don't some, think so. I was something else last time. No, you're an eye, I think. An eye. Yeah, that's right. So uh, would those eyes look familiar? Does that is that a role that I remember? Absolutely, but okay. I mean, but you can just sort of, and you remember it. I mean, like anything else that happens in that meld, there's like a there's a rich emotional like subtext to it. Mm -hmm. Like all the all the tasks, they just recognize the other tasks, and you knew that even then, like they felt a certain way about the weepers. Okay. Like they respected them and loved them, but they knew that what they had to do was important. Um, uh, in this case, yeah, it definitely has eyes, like eye forms like you remember, but uh, those were uh, larger or, in, or uh, individually larger or in like smaller clusters of large eyes. This eye form appears to be designed to do something else. Okay. Um, I look up at it uh, and I'm watching this transformation. I was like, oh, I wish I had a bigger jar. <laughs> <laughs> That's love, to love to take one of those puppies home. <laughs> Just land the whole library. Right on there. Ooh. Well, collect it. Thank you, Jerry. Um, but I, I, I do. I turn to you two and I say, I, I think we have. I think we have an ally in this fight. Or a mm -hmm. lot of them. Mm -hmm. That's the impression that I get. Oh. Yeah. They, they just saved us from some crazy stangle of stuff. Is that still going on, by the way? The, the quilt has not <coughs> completely absorbed. No, no, no. Okay. The rest of them have all burst. Okay. Um, they've had their, they've had their placement, but you were able to avoid every one that it did not consume. Right. Okay. 
yeah, they just saved us, and they, they could have stopped there, but I think, I think they're coming with us. Well, now Dinar knows that, because I was going to have him say, get the hell out of here. <laughs> yeah, well, let's do. Um, but Miss I, them? This whole time I'm pushing away ten, little yeah. halflings by their yeah. forehead. Yeah, it's, it's like oh. every vector, like every new vector. Oh. Just <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Just, like a mop between the eyes and just a little... Just, <laughs> mm. just a little adjustment. Just a little... Yeah, just as they're like drifting. Just now, a, they need those just babysitters. A, like yeah. we've all been there. Just like we've slightly. all been there. Do do we try to wake everybody else up, or do we just go? I I, can, I think I can get us going again. I don't know how we wake everyone up. I only have so many of these rags. Uh, what? So I have druidcraft, which I've used precisely zero times, um, and I can make flowers blossom, seed pods open, leaf buds bloom, or I can create a puff of wind. Um, Interesting. So I'm wondering if I could try oh, try to clear out the clear out the Ooh. area of spores and see if it um, alleviates the. And try to minimize it. Trying to minimize what's going on on deck, at least. Cool. Like right or centered around Sorrel. Yeah, yeah. She's it's like really it's one like. thing if everybody else is doing this, but maybe the maybe the bridge should be okay. Yes. Is what you're saying? Mm-hmm. Yes. That's the plan. Um, uh, I think that's a great plan. Uh, uh, the door by Sorrel, mm-hmm. uh, she is seated by it, and so it never quite closes completely. Perfect. So you may have to use it a few times just to try to lower the parts per million in here. Sure, that's fine. Um, I can uh, set to work on that. Exactly. But uh, after, and it, it still takes a while, but uh, like I was saying before, in the... Uh, uh, in the sort of medical bay, like their enthusiasms have become less pronounced after a little while. Mm. Now they're choosing to sit uh, in chairs mm. and uh, do things that uh, have less um, of a wild-eyed uh, aspect. Okay, great. <laughs> Perfect. Um, so I'm just a magical leaf blower right now. Just whirring around <laughs> up on the deck. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Uh, um, like- and, and, and pollen everywhere. Let get here. Um, and in just like perfectly stock still in the center of the bridge, just like looking out and up at the uh, bioform of this new weeper vessel uh, is Cthris mm-hmm. with the flat of the blade uh, against their palm Mm -hmm. on the left uh, and the the pommel and grip in their right. And they're just whispering into the sword. And they're not paying attention to anything else. They're engaged in some act of ritual worship, uh, psychic exploration. It would be impossible. It looks like something like blade words, but you don't know what they're doing. Well, <clears throat> that's new. But they're not freaking out. They're not on a. Uh, they're not on a trip. Yeah, I mean, you see, you see, because uh, you hadn't seen it before. That's you you, you yeah. just came out of. You just came out of the hospital. The first thing you see up here is you see that Cathris is now wielding a uh, a long, jagged, uh, green glass sword, something like foremother. Hmm. Uh, tiny fruit. Uh, at, the, at the pommel, uh, and they're just they're whispering into their sword as they watch this ship be born in space. How is it visually different from Foremother, or is it? Uh, right now, I consider it to be very similar in terms of a scimitar shape, um, but when Cuthris returns, uh, no doubt they'll have some opinions about the particulars. And of course, that'll be vital uh, for the fan art community. Of course. Um... Well, seeing that, uh, I understand it completely. Yeah. Um, I don't understand what's being said exactly, but uh, the communication with the sword. Um, so I just leave Thrish B and I say um, to these two, I say, um, you know, these swords, they have a mind of their own. <clears throat> yeah. Um, and you, you see that um, as this is happening, uh, Kuthris does not notice Brahma even very close. Mm-hmm. Um, and Brahma turns uh, back to you 
uh, her brow a little knit and she says, Kithris is trying to name the sword, but the sword doesn't like any of the names. <laughs> I say, um, I say. Did you have to name Foremother? Absolutely not. No, she gave me her name. Well, that may be the problem. Um, and I say to Kithris, I'm like, you gotta just let it go, buddy. Just let it, let it be. Let it do its thing. I love it. I'm just, I'm so pleased. <clears throat> um, Kithris uh, notices this, mm -hmm. uh, notices you, and uh, when the sword uh, flashes, when it glints as they turn around, mm -hmm. um, the sword tries to communicate with you. Oh. Well, I definitely want to talk to this sword. Absolutely, I do. After sword three talk. seasons, I can tell you. Yeah. I love nothing more than talking yeah. to these swords. <laughs> she says, I don't think this is going to work. <laughs> and I say, uh, give it a chance. No. <laughs> Fair enough. And I say, yeah. return me to that space which is between time. Oh. Um, I won't, I won't war, even for my elite under these conditions. These names are ridiculous. <laughs> they refer to deeply <laughs> abstract concepts. Yes, mm -hmm. understandable. Sounds um, like a thrist. What, what is your name? Winter. Winter. Um, it won't help. I told them. I told them what my name was. And I say... They won't say it. Huh. And I say, what if I can get them to say your name? Then you would be a true queen. <laughs> well, I truly and deeply hates that. <laughs> and she says, I hate that. <laughs> uh, to the sword. Um, and says, I'll see what this, I can this do. This takes place like in a split second. I figured. The whole dialogue. And she, now, Kithris has fully turned to you. I say, <laughs> Kithris. <clears throat> For the podcast, I'm turning Kithris's portrait oh. to <laughs> face Walnut. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna channel this. And I say, it's really easier if I look at Chris's face. <laughs> um, I bet it does help. And I say, Kithris, <laughs> you must use Kithris the sword. Kithris raises the sword in front of their lips and begins to speak again. No. No, no, and I take the right hand and pull it down. Um, I say, Kithris, you must use its true name. You must call your sword Winter. Winter? No. There are many words for winter in many languages. Um, That's... And I say... I need a better Kithris impression. <laughs> You go, oh, oh, oh yeah. There are so many oh, words. Oh, oh, yeah, I guess Maliki, that's true. What could you oh, ever mean? Yeah, there I guess are, that's oh, true. It's like he's here. There are so many words, my lady. <laughs> In the infinite vastness. That's pretty good. <laughs> it's actually really good. Sorry to tear you down for your oh, I'm this not, impression, but. No, yeah, try again. You know, I need you to be my friend. I'm not sad. <laughs> <laughs> um, Walnut says, uh, Walnut says, in any tongue, you must call her winter. If you want to see her true power, you must use her name. Or else, I'm sure your meat and mouths god would be happy to come back. <laughs> Thinly veiled threat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Respect my gods or don't. So through the, there's a, a long pause. And through the green glass mm. of the blade. Mm -hmm. You can see uh, Kathrissa's lips move like gently, with some res with, <laughs> with the, behind the blue pen. <laughs> the podcast Kate is using is pretending the sword is a pen, which is a great. I mean, see, somebody should keep that as a metaphor. It's pretty good. A, a sword is a pen. A sword is a pen. The sword, a sword is, is the, put sword it on is the <laughs> forest of the ocean. Yeah, pen. of yeah. of uh, literary devices. <laughs> so, um. 
and uh, when their lips stop mm -hmm. behind the blade uh, from the from the hilt to the end, the fruit on the pommel drops off. Whoa! Uh, and strikes the ground, bounces a couple times, and rolls a few feet, and the glass of the blade turns jet black. Whoa! Ooh. Whoa! Here, write that down and tell Chris. Jeez. I go he, he dibs. Come, he needs to come to every game. We should. Um, what kind of fruit was it? We should do something where he has to update his art every single time. Yeah. <laughs> Juicy fruit. Is it still functional? Juicy as fruit, a sword? like an orange. Was it an orange? <clears throat> No, it wasn't an orange. I pick it up. What kind of fruit was it? Was it, it another apple? It looks. Like, it looks like a crab apple. Ooh, mm. I still grab it. Um, I say, be careful with that. Uh, eat it. What happens when he eats it? He eats it. No, he I don't eats eat it. it. I don't <laughs> eat it. I save it for later, with a full intention of eating it, but not right now. Walnut was you gonna eat, eat it, it yeah. so it's, it's good thing you got it. It's getting oh, at no. Um, okay, great. Hungry boy. You can be part of my grove too. <laughs> All are welcome. <laughs> you hear that, Rosie? <laughs> nope. All are welcome. MLM. <laughs> um, okay, Check okay, off okay. Apple. <laughs> I'll Green eat when I'm good and ready. So is the sword, um, a sword is functional as a sword. Do I get the sense that it has died? Like, has it turned that, it's not that brown. You think, you think that it has entered into its purpose. I see, okay, great. Um, and so I look at Kithris and I quirk an eyebrow and I go, see? <clears throat> God, Chris, Chris is a very challenging person to emulate. You say he's and the then easiest we'll do it. person yeah, in the world a, to emulate. Oh, not to me. I, I I think Chris is the best. I'm like I'm not. Kid. I don't. I think he's the best too. Um, Aww, so why don't you put words in my mouth? Yeah. You guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh, so shucks. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, he says uh, he, uh, he can do the whole thing. <laughs> I do know what he'll say. He'll, he'll say. Uh, Maliki, I wonder what it can do. And I say, um, uh, I say, my elite. <laughs> we'll soon find out. <laughs> I, I love it. It's it's so nice to actually like to like run a show that you were like a fan of. Like I I derive a lot of satisfaction nerd from, from this show. Oh yeah, you, listen, don't act like you ain't no. Um, <laughs> he owned it. Um, Dang. So, um, there are uh, sort of around the central uh, axis of the Weeper vessel. You think there are places? You're not sure if that's their purpose necessarily, but there are places on this vessel that the library could be landed quite easily. Oh, okay. Does that strike me as a good idea? It's a possibility. It's a idea. Yeah. Uh, you, okay. You can you can fly completely independently if you want to. It certainly worked thus far. Okay. Um, if there if there looks like there's some kind of place that, that is ha a hangar, like maybe that the the oh, like an kind of, alcove. Yeah. If they if it seems like they've created something in in the construction of this weeper vessel that looks like it it would fit us, I might start edging us toward it, just sort of nudging the ship in the hopes that they would send a signal. Yeah. I laughed. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> you guys are perverts. Um, and in the hopes that if, if this is not, if this is not welcome, it's not consensual. Oh no, it, it's, it's something like a, something like when a, a whale turns in the water, uh -huh. it just kind of tilts up and it's like, then there is definitely like a hollow space like in the front underneath the, tummy. the vessel. Yeah, there is like a hollow space. Like there is its own space okay. that exists inside it. Like it's substantial enough to hold that. Okay. Um, I, I suspect, I, I turn to you guys and I, I use my little stylus in the sand. Strange, strange vessel, but I'm, I'm a fan of it. Um, and I, I, I have us sort of moving toward the underside of this giant myconid vessel. And as I'm doing it, I say, um, I have a feeling they're better armed than we are. They seem like they have sort of an endless supply of ammunition. Incredible. Isn't it? It is. I didn't think we needed to be I We only need one arm. I thought we were invisible to the... Well, we, we're hopefully going to be invisible, but we're also going to need a way to destroy it, right? 
Like just being invisible isn't going to destroy the Sangmoth. We need to make a hole in it and then put the bomb in it. Uh, plant. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, isn't that the... Like a seed. Doesn't Cthulhu have the bomb? Uh, the bomb is currently in the knife, right? Or no. Um, the bag. Dadmiral has it in, in the Horde's Person bag. Unless yeah. I, did I pick up the Horde's Person no. bag? Okay. Dadmiral still has it? Okay. Um, so I, uh, yeah, I've got us moving toward the mic and the chip. Nice. <clears throat> so you, you can sort of float... Uh, it's like, a, like a jellyfish, essentially, uh, just sort of floating in that uh, that darkness underneath, and uh, various like uh, like cilia, almost hairs, can like reach out and sort of like gently hold. But you know that if you move this ship at all, they would they would it would be able to be free of it. It's nothing. It's not permanent. These aren't like steel grips or anything like that. Okay. Um, and uh, as soon as you land there. A bunch of small creatures um, sort of barrel out from these apertures inside the cap, and they just like pour out toward the ship. Uh, many of them just sort of like hit the top of the uh, the gem and just sort of like bounce freely away. This sort of like ch- this uh, this chamber is sort of filling with these things, and you can see like as they get close, they're myconids. Mm-hmm. They're just they're myconids of about two feet uh, in height. Okay. Uh, and they are apparently coming to this ship uh, for a visit. And they're just they're just like bouncing off our windshield. Yeah. So yeah, ex- yeah. The ones that the ones that come out there and they they bounce and they sort of travel around the edge. Okay. I I uh, I have a sp- I throw this I throw this baby in park, um, and I say that I'm I'm observing this. I assume it's quite dark in here. Right, so it's just yeah, exactly. In, just from the, the darkness, glint, yeah, the glint. Two foot tall myconids are just sort of <laughs> gently bouncing off, um, and I say that is a strange welcome. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Can you give me a perception roll? Oh sure, I'd love to, Jerry. That's uh, a thirteen. Okay. Cool. E- everything, everything on the uh, instrumentation seems correct. Great. <laughs> well, I love it. I love to, to see that correct instrumentation. That's not suspicious yeah. at all. Yeah. And, you, and you take a moment to really appreciate it. You know what? Oh, correct yeah. instrumentation, that is life's, one of life's purest joys. It is. I agree. <laughs> Everything on the instrumentation looks correct. I think wow. we're safe to exit this vehicle. Great. Is yeah. there a How's My Driving sticker that I could call? Because I want to <laughs> I want to compliment this driving. Thank you. Most people call to complain. I'm going to call to compliment. Thank you, Tamar. Appreciate it. Missed you, bud. Oh my god, you <laughs> could call the compliment. You, you could. Know. No yeah. one ever does. Why would you call? How's my driving to compliment someone? I saw in Parallel Park. It was. <laughs> <laughs> Next time I see one of those, I'm gonna call. Yeah, it's gonna be like this asshole cut me off. Fire mm-hmm. him. Fire him and his family. Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> Do they work for you? I don't know. I don't know. Um, so the um, the uh, welcome crew is just sort of starting to condense on the ship. <laughs> It's right. not great, but uh, it's not horrible. We we like these friends. We were their friends not too long ago, oh, mere minutes ago. We were joy. They were friends. Um, do I still have any when I when I look at these myconids? Do I have any residual feelings of affection from being as part part of the collective? Well, yeah. I mean, almost almost certainly. Like that part is true. Right. Like being being uh, allowed, you know, entry into that. You're, you're essentially being invited into their culture. Right. Uh, and so that as, I mean, it could be used as an attack or it could be used to pacify, mm. but you know, you, the experiences that you have had in there are very personal. Now, you were revealed their history in there. Mm-hmm. So it's a, it's, a, it's a unique, you have a unique perspective on this culture and that's recognized. Okay, so there's an intimacy that we've built and so when I see when I, I I see these and I'm like that's a strange welcome, but I do love these little guys. Yeah, no, it's, yeah, no, it would be it would be like a shipment of celestial teddy bears was like delivered, and it's like maybe uh-huh. you didn't order them, but it's like you're still happy to have them. Okay. Like, you 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 know that they don't you know that they don't mean any harm. Okay. Like the ship the vessel around, this means harm. Right, but not not to us. Not to you. Okay. So, um, would we exit? 
Are we just ride alongs? But they're, they're, they're coming to you, they're delivering, like, much like X. Um, you know, huh. uh, it's their intention to uh, deliver Mike and it's. Oh, unto us. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're coming to see the ship. Oh, okay, all right. Um, so, I, I don't know, is there an exit from the bridge? This, the gem <coughs> thing? The, okay. Not directly, the, the bridge, you think, the, the bridge is so coherent, uh, you think that even in the absence of the rest of the vessel, the bridge could remain. Okay. Um, I stand up from the helm and, and sort of, uh, I don't think, I, I'm not in a trance necessarily, but I am, I am charmed by their, their um, interest. It is charming. And the, mm. the level of affection and intimacy of being part of the collective. And I walk to the, to the, the, wind, the windshield, you know, this, this big viewing area, um, and there's a, a cluster of these little myconids um, and they're pressing, <laughs> they're pressing their little mushroom eyes. Yeah, yeah, and there's a little, little, they're like uh, mushroom bulb paws. Mm-hmm. Just like, <laughs> <laughs> um, and I, Rosie reaches up to touch the glass and, and kind of touch where one of their little bulb hands are, <laughs> and the, and she says, um, "It is." Oh, it's so refreshing, and it's, it's not. It's not really to anyone. It's to her, yeah, yeah. to herself, but also maybe to them. Um, but you guys can hear. It's. Uh, she says it's so. It's so refreshing to just be joy. <laughs> it's very rare that one gets to be joy, and these friends, they're joy. Yeah. It, he sort of like places his little bulb uh, near where he thinks your heart might be, Aww. which is on his belly. <laughs> <laughs> So close. I give him a thumbs up. Yeah. So you're you're interacting <laughs> up here, um, and then two or three of them uh, enter into the bridge, like chased by other people. Oh, <clears throat> they they apologize to Sorrel. They're like we we could not we couldn't stop them. We didn't know what it was. And then and then Sorrel stands up for her uh, her place near the uh, aperture, like shakes her head, like rubs one of her eyes. And then sort of like looks to you with a questioning uh, glance. Uh, she, she says, you seem surprisingly okay with this. Uh, I've built up a, an immunity. <laughs> I've got a high tolerance. <laughs> <laughs> and she, she marshals a uh, uh, rough, small wave to the creatures over the dome. And she says, these are, this is good, we like all this. We do. We like, like him, we like that. That one, that one in particular seems pretty good. Yeah. She's like, uh, do we like these? Uh, yeah. Oh, she's pointing the ones inside. Yes. Are they also a little two foot? Oh yeah, they're okay. not, they're not big. I have this mental picture of them, they're just fat little mushrooms, no. with like little arms. No, this is this is one hundred percent true. Yes. I mean, the only thing that distinguishes them, um, uh, and in fact, this is an uh, incredible opportunity for uh, Denar Botzen. Wings, yeah, oh, bat wings. Bat wings. Wow. Yeah. Uh, bat wings. Mm-hmm. The thing that differentiates them mm-hmm. from like just a bulbous mushroom boy is bat wings mm-hmm. and Instagram accounts. Mm-hmm. Like that's the thing. They're always <laughs> wow. they're always, yeah. like, always like chicken, like yeah. chicken legs, like Baba Yaga, like chicken legs. Ew. Yeah, and their belly's a house. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, no, uh, one of them. Uh, one of them approaches uh, Dinar Blitzen mm. um, and goes into a deep, deep bow. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah. How does it bow? No, it's just like it's t- it, it's like its little nose just like touches the ground, like. <laughs> it doesn't move. Its nose just goes. Yeah. <laughs> it's, no, it's like a little drinking bird. Yeah. <laughs> it just kind of goes down and goes. Boop. Um, and then he starts to climb up your leg. Yeah. Um, I'm like, well, <laughs> bowing's natural, you know. Climbing up my leg, a little, it's weird. See where it goes. Th- okay. That's Rosie. Yeah. <laughs> see what, see I just make goes. sure I, I push my cloth protectors in tighter. And I just. Eh. That's enormously offensive. Yeah. <laughs> he's, at the, he's at the belt. Belt's got a lot of action in it. Yeah. Oh, use. MVP. MVP, yeah. that belt. <laughs> Keep that in mind. Oh, yeah. Write that down. <laughs> uh, do I recognize him? Is it Cappy? Does, you, it, does it look? Yeah. <gasps> yeah. You, you, you think that this... Is he the same color? Red? Intimacy? No. He is different. <gasps> oh. What color? Uh, his body is different. 
But I still recognize him. No, no, you. you I wouldn't you, let just this, any this is your mushroom pal. crawl up me. This is this is your pal, okay. but his your husband. But the cap, my betrothed. Uh, the cap shape is different. Oh. So whereas before it had more of a traditional sort of like speckled, you know, uh, round red cap. Um, this has, um, it's almost swept back. Like it goes down to a, a curved point at the beginning, something like a like a flat beak, uh, and then sweeps back uh, uh, away from the tip. Cool. Like the uh, those mushrooms that like look like hair, like kind of the white tendrils that come off. Because that'd be funny. Yeah, it could, but it goes it goes from a, a sharp point mm -hmm. near the snoot, yeah. uh, and then back up and over. Okay. Nice. In like a uh, like a dark sweep from the front to the back. Um, well, then I I I let him keep climbing. And I go, hey, hey, buddy. Yeah. It's good to see you. There's a few. Uh, I'll help sort him. Of low rumble chirps. They're chirping now. Yeah, he's a big boy. All right. <clears throat> uh, and then as as he's climbing up onto your uh, shoulder, you can just sort of see yeah. like dust uh, and spores sort of like falling away. Yeah. Uh, from the shoulder, and then by the time he gets up to, I go <laughs> gross. <laughs> by the time he gets up uh, around to uh, the top of your head. Yeah. He resumes his original yeah, just easy seat. The classic arrangement. <laughs> yes. Uh, the oh, diff so the well. difference know. is that um uh understand he's in his teen years. Oh. Uh, mouthy. Yeah. <sighs> Rebellious. Exactly. Um so the the things that you need to know, so you should add them to your character sheet uh, for next time. Okay. But for now, just keep these, it down. keep these notes in mind. Okay. It is plus one strength. Hey, hey. Wow. Wow, I got it. I just, got like it. Back, just like back in the day. Cool. Uh, plus one strength, plus one armor. Yay. Hey. Um, Hell yeah. And once per round, uh, if an enemy misses an attack on you, you can uh, repost. <laughs> just what Dinar needs. More deeps. Man. <laughs> Hell yeah. Wow, that's awesome. I want, a, I want a mushroom to, co to colonize me. Yeah. Hey, you got, I don't what about these me? guys listening? I got a big old buff here. I want, <laughs> I want this reflected in the game. <laughs> <laughs> that would fix my form right up, so. They got the computers out, they're fixing it right now. All right, thank you. Everyone watching at home, expect this in the next <laughs> patch. Okay. I'm well, wondering. I say, well, that feels that feels good. And what color is is Cappy now? Is he black like the rest black. of the ship? Okay. Oh, okay. he has a. This is his. He has oh, a weaver bioform. Like I said, team. He's an edgy. He's an edge lord. Oh no. <laughs> he's, gonna, <laughs> For he's gonna be memeing up there. Dude, yeah. he's gonna be a lot. Get out of here with your memes. <laughs> and he can beam them right in your head. Oh no, not meme beams. <laughs> <laughs> It's uh, a new druid spell. <laughs> Mean beams. Mean beams. <laughs> um, uh, Brahma, uh, Whoa. Walnut, Brahma uh, gets your attention. She has a couple. I say, uh, what, Brahma? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I say, uh, don't talk to my wife like that. <laughs> it's it's uh, him. It's him. That wasn't me. It's him. Scythe Sonnet. <laughs> Uh, yes. are, are there, and there's something that needs to be managed on the ship. Oh, okay. Um, I walk over, and I am uh, freshly still pissed about being called the queen again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I say, what? Um, Not to Brahma, to them. Well, yeah, exactly. <clears throat> They're like, uh, we, we would like you to perhaps take a closer look at what the Salith is getting up to. Absolutely. Um, yeah, I, I said I wanted to know more. This is great. So they, they say after you. Great. Okay, I he, I head on down. So you, it's like a, it's you are basically navigating this uh, like a bumper pinball set of curious myconids uh, on your way to the aperture. Uh, that you can use to, to project yourself out to the ship, and uh, mm -hmm. when you get down, and this is this is obviously Coriander 2.0, right? Brilliant 
Golden sails the uh, the bow, uh, and that's that sort of like that front of the spine of the ship, uh, still gold, coriander's face there, uh, but then swept back over something a little bit more gothic in uh, nature. Nice touch, Rosie. No. I, well, not says aloud, <laughs> even though Rosie can't hear. <laughs> it, 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 yeah, yeah, but, but she can. But she can. At some yeah. level. She does. <clears throat> um, and when you uh, when you arrive in there, the the middle deck. What, tell me what you want the middle deck. Boat tummy. We, exactly, the boat tum. <laughs> BT. I mean, g- it looks so, like. so before, okay. before there was rows of rooms on each side and there was a place for the cart right. uh, in the front. Cart has okay. been, I mean, the, theoretically that's where the cart would go in this. It can still open in the front. Okay. Those are the things that happened before, but whatever, what, what, what are the lodging portions? So this is the main thing we need to know. What is the lodging like in the 2.0 version of the shadow ship. There's there are comfortable quarters for all of the daughters. Obviously, we got to mm-hmm. transport them. Oh, so it's robust. Like, it is like barracks style. Like yes, yeah. And so everybody has a bed. But the most notable thing about this is the princely suite, but that is designed for a horse. <laughs> like there is there there the the. <coughs> Those rooms are fine. The horse got gets it the, the best. The horse, like the the outside, the molding Stable. is is also gold. <gasps> Um, and the state, like it's pl- there's velvet pillows in there. I don't know why a horse would need those, but you never know. The the hay plentiful, the brushes fresh goat hair. Oh, every time. Yeah. Space goats. Yes, yes. Space goats. Whatever kind of go- space goats. Coats to coats. Coats to coats. No coats to coats. Coats to coats. And we're done. <laughs> Thanks for That's watching it. the C team. <laughs> <laughs> Building to that dad joke. Um, so yeah, but there's there is a very sad looking horse in there uh, who is having the time of her life. But yeah. that is absolutely the most magnificent thing. That's what that's the apex. Mm-hmm. Like the entire ship is designed to contain mm-hmm. these uh, princely uh, horse quarters. Yes. Um, and so, but there is no one uh, down in this in the middle of this common area mm-hmm. where before uh, daughters sort of mingled freely. Mm-hmm. Um, they are all very much uh, placed separately in their barracks area, and in the center of the the ship, I mean, completely uh, isolated, is the Salith. Whereas before, the Salith had sort of mingled. Uh, initially, you didn't even know there was a Salith with them. Right, I did not. Um, and uh, now, they are deeply aware. Of his presence so much that he is not really a part of it anymore. Um, <clears throat> and so, and so, as you go, as you go down, you can sort of see um, his back. He's sort of like kneeling down in the middle of the yeah uh, in the middle of the ship. Um, so I just waltz right up to him uh, and I say, um, "Sleep out, have you tell me more about what you found?" Okay. Um, he, you can see, he reaches his hand down onto the ground mm-hmm. um, and then uh, scoops something up. Uh, and when he turns to face you, um, inside his hand mm-hmm. is a dead mouse. Oh no! That's one a of mouse. That's one of Walnut's favorite things, though. I do <laughs> love dead mice. <laughs> um, and he whispers into its ear, mm-hmm. um, and it shudders, and then rises up on its feet. Does it? Ooh, and his normal? palm like stretches out mm-hmm. too long. Oh no! Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, and then lays back down uh, on oh, its that's the uh, apple on mouse. its paws, but the eyes are completely empty. Okay. Shadow Council, <gasps> may our labors please. Whoa! Uh, what well, this is? It's this is the time it is. Um, apple so, mouse. So we are going to take full advantage uh, of this break. Know this, um, and then when we return. Uh, we will play more Dungeons and Dragons for your benefit. Uh, don't go nowhere. We'll be right back. I'm Jeffrey K. Horcrimes. <laughs> he wrote, still wiping. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Chris Teams. We miss our Chris. Like, we miss our Chris very much. So he's interacting with you during the break? He is. Jeez, is he's, he watching? He said, still wiping. It won't end. <laughs> <laughs> so I messaged him. I said, are you in the bathroom? I'm about to go on. Hurry up. Hold on, so is he talking about a wipe that is going to last for an hour? Mm-hmm. Yes. 
Potentially. It's like wiping a marker. <sighs> Stay just, tuned. Every time there's more. That's incredible. Now. Ugh. Anyway, uh, so that is the situation. Mm-hmm. You, have, okay. you have seen uh, Salith oh, Crypt Garden about it during the break. whisper. It's perfectly fine. We can think about it now. Okay. Uh, whisper into the ear, like tenderly, almost tearfully, mm-hmm. and have it return to something like life, but it's it's clear. They're like two tiny black beads. Like they're not, there's nothing behind them at all. Incredible. Um, so I look at the sleeve and I look at um, <laughs> yeah, the sonnet and scythe <laughs> and I say, um, I say, uh, there's one way to test if this is, if this is something that's gonna work. Um, and I used to speak with animals and I try and talk to this necromanced mouse. Um, and I say, um, I say, who are you? Uh, it's, Mouth just sort of drops mm-hmm. open, and like it's just chewing nothing. Okay. Like there's no, there's no communion of any kind with it. Um, okay. And once I've seen this, uh, I look at the ground for a second. I'm very upset that this is how this worked out. Um, <clears throat> and I look back up, and I address them as a group, and I say. Um, I believe this to be against the natural world. I have judged this, and this is what I found. They, there is round support uh, for this position. Okay. Like, Except the Salith on the Well, the hand, yeah, I mean, hands are like colliding with breastplates. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're supporting each other in this. There's some nods, like we took a while, but you know we got to the right, we got to the right answer eventually. Mm-hmm. Um, and he has just cupped this thing in his hands, uh, and he's just speaking to it. Uh, I say, um, can you talk to it? Can you hear it? He says, I knew her. You knew her. Well, he says, this is, this is Bonnet. She's been with us the entire time. This mouse? This mouse. She may have been the first on the ship. Terry, why'd you have to name it? Um, the first <coughs> mouse. Now we're and, attached. And I say, um, He says, I missed her so much. that I could bring her back. But she is not Bonnet. I can't commune with her. There's nothing, there's nothing coming back from her. He says, what would you ask her? Um, I would ask her, I would ask her, is she, is she whole? Is she herself? Is, does she feel well? He brings his lips down very close, uh, as he did at the first, Mm -hmm. and then uh, he lowers her down and he says, she says that she is in the place where it is always winter. Okay. Um, Salith, is that still the name you want? That is my name. Okay. Uh, I understand the missing of someone when they're gone. I understand this more than most, but this is not natural. This goes against what we believe and stand for. He says, what should be done with her? Walnut looks back to Brahma and, and like, her ears, like her ears no, fall. No, 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 don't, like, like, don't put this on me. And, uh, Ooh, like, I don't want any part of this. She looks back at Salith, um, and she, uh, she looks at the mouse, and then she looks back at Salith, and she goes, it's not natural, and we must do to it what we do to unnatural things. <sighs> he... He nods. There's not a long pause. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
he nods and he says, it shall be done, sister. Walnut, um, Walnut is being tested. beside herself mm, that Marley. she is upset about the connection <laughs> that this person felt to a mouse. Um, but the idea of missing someone so much that you bring them back to life, she also realizes, like, and she'll say this out loud, she says, like, she says, um, I realize the hypocrisy of this, that I just brought back someone from the dead. Hmm. And she says, but this is not the way. There are ways, and we have ways, and I can teach you those ways. And he says, would you? Yes. Oh, you mean this mouse? Is that, is that too great? Uh, a request. Walnut looks at looks at the Salise and then Bra- looks Brahma back to them. puts a hand on your shoulder and she's like, "I got it." Oh, okay. And Brahma says, "Salise, Mister Salise, Mister Crypt Garden." No, we don't do that. <laughs> she says, "Give me bonnet," and she says, "I as the." Mortal incarnation of my elite, the Winter Mother. Oh. <laughs> will do something with the mouse. <laughs> but you'll like, you'll like it. You'll like what happens next. <laughs> You're going to love the way you look. Sounds like he's going to like it. And then he places Bonnet in her palms and she takes the mouse and she says, thank you. Miley, thanks you. Uh, and then she leaves with the mouse. So I'm really concerned about the magic that the Salith is getting to without guidance. Yeah, I mean, this is a perfectly reasonable position. <laughs> it's like he accidentally, because he was sad after school, he accidentally invested, invented necromancy. I think it's probably worth looking into. <laughs> so, I want to do something, but I don't know if it'll be, if it'll mess with your. I don't know if it'll be okay oh, don't in Dungeons him. and Dragons. Yeah, that's fucked up, dude. Yeah, kill him. Yeah, and I say Jesus. you're unnatural. <laughs> put you down yeah. next. Um, you can do magic, but can you do it without hands? No. Oh. Uh, that's All night. <laughs> I can't believe you, but you heard her. Yeah, you know what? It's her. <laughs> All right. Um, so I look at Happy Valentine's Day. I look at the Salith <laughs> and I say, um, I know you want to learn magic, and I want to teach it to you. Um, but there's only one way you're going to learn it, and that's by that's by shadowing me. Okay. Now they're mad again. That's fine. Um, and I say, you deserve to learn the magic that I know as part of this, as part of this grove. Um, and I look at the sisters, and then I look back to him and I say, um, I would have you learn from me. Okay, is there... Yeah, favorite. what do you want? Yeah, I was just gonna say, let's... Um, I, oh, I'm playing favorites. I see, I see, I see, I see. Uh, I'm happy to do whatever you want. It's well, yeah, I'm saying zeros. let's make this Animal case. handling. I mean, yeah, yeah, these boosts. <laughs> I mean, but, but, but what do you think I mean, in terms of here? Is this something like a... It's a persuasion. It, yeah, it's a persuasion. Right? It's a make, persuasion. The, make the case. Have Walnut Dawn Grass, you know, Scion of the EPA make this case, and we can do it with a persuasion check. Um, I'm going to take advantage. So I would like to persuade here. Whoa. Okay, well, that's bad. That's a three, which is, historically speaking, a low number. Shadow Council, Revere Shadow Council, Mayor of Labor's, please. Oh, you got him. Do you, you, have our, you have our treasures? Dice first or the treasures? Uh, let's, let's throw the dice in there first because I think those are pretty dope. Mule. Oh. I think that that is a very cool set. Yeah. From Love Beautiful. They Look got at the so. eight sigil. Yeah, no, the, si- the sigil ones are pretty whacked out. whack a doodle. This is great for playing like a Blair Witch RPG, I think. Or, yeah. or Viking. I'm getting a rune oh, a sword. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. It could be good for divination. 
It yeah, can be good for um, divination. In any case, throw those uh, bones. Womp womp, as they say. All right, so you, so you you've made the case, and you think that the the where it turned, yes, like where it fell off of the edge and fell onto your side, was that it's happening under your control. Yes. It's not. It's not going to be allowed to just fritter away the gross energies. Ooh, yum. Um, in this context, mm-hmm. he's going to receive from an avatar. Yes. The right lessons. Yes. Yeah. And that's that's good. That's good. Uh, <clears throat> uh, and, and he says, "How shall I begin?" And I say, um, "I say, are you armed?" He says, of course not. I say, well, we should arm you, because we're going to battle, and you'll see a lot of magic there. My magic. Yeah. I'm going to do a lot of magic, is what I'm telling you. And I want you to see it. And I want you to see it. No. Um, she says, uh, She says the best way to learn is by doing. Right. Uh, he nods. Um, and I, I, look to, I look to Scythe. And yeah, I yeah. say, I say, Scythe, arm him. Yep, Scythe nods, um, disappears. Is Sonic pissed? Uh, if, do an insight. Mm. I got good insight. Do a piss check. Do a piss check. Um, that is a 17. Ooh. Uh, you think that she is engaging dutifully with the request? Okay. Um, you don't sense any um, uh, ill intentions or ill will. You don't think she's gonna give him a dull blade or anything? Okay. Well, I still look at Sonnet and I say, um, I say, uh, these may not be the old ways, but I think these are the ways that will see us into the future. Uh, see, so she nods to you as uh, uh, as Scythe leaves to get a weapon, and she says, "We'll need every arm." Exactly. In this, we are agreed. <laughs> um, and then uh, I. Look to Salith, and I just say, um, "Meet me on deck when you're when you're ready." Amazing. Um, so uh, they they retreat sort of into their uh, into their barracks. There's you know small like uh, snippets of conversation that you can hear. Mm-hmm. Um, most of it correct, but a lot of it just plainly, flatly terrified at the uh, at the thought. Of being in this eternal winter, mm-hmm. like these, this is a big idea for them, and it is it is going through their, it is going through this new culture like wildfire, like wildfire. It's building a kind of cosmology. It's a bummer for me too, to be frank. Uh, that's not what I. I don't want to be frank. Pictured, um, but. Mail thrills over winter, so I don't have too much to fear. Yeah, in my head, in Walnut's head cannon. Um, the end. Winter's still natural. Exactly. Winter's still natural. So when you, uh, uh, when he rejoins you mm-hmm. uh, up on the deck, he is mostly as he was below. Okay. Um, except now he has a uh, he has a, a short tunic uh, over the top as well. Okay, great. Is they, this, just because I can't remember, is this the Salif that used to be Walnut's dad? No, no, no they're just all named that. Different Salif. Okay. Just, it just means son of the I, I know, I just yeah. wasn't sure if it was the same, same fella. No, that'd be great though, yeah, but cool. no. Okay. Yeah, no, it's just Tool. No, it's just Tool. Miss my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Father's Day, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and teach you magic, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he can go teach all the other Salifs after I'm done with them. Mm-hmm. Uh, Marvelous. Right. Um, so, where are you still? Um, I'm still on the bridge, um, interfacing with these pleasant myconids. Absolutely. So, uh, I would like to have another uh, perception roll from you, and right. Sorrel is also going to uh, perceive, assess. Okay. The deck. I'll take the uh, advantage. Avantage. I'll take uh, the advantage. That's what I do, Jerry. That's why I'm on this show. Wow. Roll 20s. Well, that is Shadow true. Council. <laughs> Revered Shadow Council. May our labors please you. Uh, your servant, Rosie Beestinger, uh, has delivered unto you a boon. And the boon specifically um, 
is the super cool uh, magnetized dice rolling tray uh, from Elderwood Academy. It is not purchasable. No. It, you cannot. You, the only way you can get it is if your friend Rosie Beestinger invents it. Your best friend. Yeah, you can dismantle it. Um, and, As is being done right now. And take mm-hmm. life very mm-hmm. seriously. If you oh. want to, you can, you can dismantle it and clean. You can clean each part. You put it on the mantle. Yeah. You, you can, can, you can, can clean. time yourself. Exactly. At it, home. Bring it back to you. Yep. yep. Um, at home. So there's something, there's something like, well, yeah, you can oh, take you the magnets off, magnet off too. too. Well, even I didn't know that. Ooh. I thought those were just parts of the wood. I thought they parted part of the wood. No. I'm going to put it back together. I perceive I like everything fun. perfectly. No, you absolutely do. All things that are um, upside exactly. So there's down. something. There's something like do, 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 so down here on the hey, on the table. Hey, pay attention to my storyline for just I'm like trying. two seconds. I'm <laughs> trying. So, so I love this damn dice tray. It's so good. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> so the uh, the sort of sand table that you use with the stylus uh, to control it. There's other there's other sorts of instrumentation whose purposes you can you can guess at. Uh, you map it. You'd say, okay, well, maybe this is like this is obviously like red sections and blue sections. You'd be like, okay, well, maybe those are those. But there's one thing that sort of looks. Uh, it looks almost like uh, a pineapple, something like a, a hanging lamp. Okay. And uh, it just sort of like it's just suspended there on a little hook uh, near, but not directly over. The sand table, and it takes it takes a very it takes a very perceptive eye to notice the thing that is different about it, okay. or the thing that's off. So you can recall that single grain of sand out of place. Yeah, Whoop. yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> that's the one. <laughs> Put it back. <laughs> uh, uh, and so it, it's sort of like you could you can reach out and manipulate it. You can spin it and move it. But even sort of like through the curtain of lights, it sort of looks like. Um, uh, hanging down, perhaps on like on each strand of this thing. Imagine something like a like a pineapple, essentially, and then each uh, and then it's basically made up of lights that surround it, going down in this shape, okay. roughly analogous to the library itself. Oh, okay. Which is why it requires a little bit more than just seeing it. Um, and you can recall that the library itself can utilize its ships as weapons. Right. Uh, that can sort of look out and see um, and fire from if it can. And there is a ship. There's just one light out. Okay. Hmm. There's just like one light of the entire fleet basically is just out. Okay. And it's just like for you right now, that's the only light you can see. And is it it's just bugging me? It's just gone. Okay. But the the rest of the light, like the hundreds of other little lights. The rest are of them gone. seem yeah, it's a, it's a hundred total. Okay. The rest of them the rest of them are there and in their place, but there's one that's missing. Uh, Sorrel, uh, this is probably nothing. And she's yeah, and she's yeah, she's like right there. You see this with you? Yeah. Do you are you seeing this? What does this mean? Like her like her breath like she's at your at your shoulder. Yeah. And then as she sees what you're pointing out, like her breath stops. And she says, that's, that's not even possible. She says, to fly that ship, you'd have to be related to me. Mm. <clears throat> and she is out the door. I'm after. Instantly. Okay, I'm running, I'm running after her. So you are running, running, running after her. She makes a turn quick. Into, she, she has to go down and like juke back uh, to shift sides, and then as she enters the uh, the medical bay, and then goes over to uh, your father's bed, um, he is gone, and the bag is there, okay. uh, open. Uh oh. Oh no. Um, I'm going to do a perfunctory search looking for the inverse, that bomb. Yeah. So you dump it. You I mean you dump the bag? Yep. Uh, reach inside, obviously. 
spacious. There's stuff from, from season one in there. Yeah, yeah. There's all <laughs> kinds of stuff. A lot of value. There's a lot of money that doesn't fall out that the Waffle Crew stole. Ugh, right. Um, that, I, I miss it tremendously. You know what I mean? So you take, <laughs> I you take, a, you take a moment. There is no inverse. <laughs> okay. Um, and Sorrel saw this inverse with us too. She's she's aware of this so, weapon. So she, okay. yeah, she knows she knows exactly what you're looking for. It's gone. And she's just. It's damn, gone. Damn it! God damn it! Why do, Why would he do this? Is he trying to? Is he a, Is he trying to be a martyr? Yeah, he's just. Tr he's just Papa. He's just Papa again. <clears throat> and so then uh, she goes down to her bay. Um, that has a. It has something like. Uh, uh, gently glowing uh, orb where you would release the ship and she just kicks it. There's just an empty bay mm. where the ship should be. Um, and she's not done kicking it until she's kicked it three or four times. Can we track him? There must be trackers on these ships. And she says, they're very difficult to track that on purpose. Well, sure. And then she says, wait a second, it's possible. And then she runs all the way back up to the ship, uh, back up to the bridge. And then she says, I don't want this to be true. I don't want him to have that thing in him. And you go in your mind, you travel back to these shards of crystal no. that emerged. And she's like, but if it is, maybe that's how we can find him. <laughs> no, that was. She says, I don't want it to be true. And she starts, she starts uh, pushing people out of the way, operating the instrumentation. Uh, and then she starts to sweep the sky with the. Uh, with the eye at the top of this, uh, at the top of the library, trying to find, she swapped it into the mode now that only sees the Sanguilith. I, I continue to, to deny this as a possibility. <clears throat> like the, no, of course. And she's it, like, I don't want it to be true. No one wants it to be true. It's well, it's not. And then she's not. like, look, and she's so she is like looking with her eyes up through the lens in the ceiling of the craft. Uh huh. More. Perception rolls. Okay, I'll take, I'll take advantage again. Uh, huh. That was a one. That was a five. So you don't get to reroll your one. I could use my lucky trait. We told reroll that one. <laughs> yep, still no good. Very bad perception across the board. <laughs> okay, one, so three five. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come and knock on my door. Um, so Seven. so you are. It doesn't. We don't add them up. <laughs> one. It's six e. Yeah, five plus two, my bonus. <laughs> oh, seven. okay. I was like, okay, well, we'll just add all the numbers up. Does that help? It's like, doesn't equal seven. In six E, roll the dice as many times as you want, <laughs> and that's the number. Awesome. Cool. <laughs> Sounds like a great game. Um, so, uh, so it's like that. You are, it's, this is correct for the narrative, frankly. Okay. So you're looking up at everything. Yeah. Just trying to find it. You can see uh, this this gruesome trail of uh, the Homeward Star almost entirely devoured. Okay. Um, and uh, Sorrel says, there. And she, she puts her hand on your shoulder and then she grabs your finger and then she is tracking it <laughs> it's not, there's with nothing. you. There's and, nothing. Then, <clears throat> and then you just see it twinkle. Just that's, like a that tiny. Could, that could be anything. That could be a star. That could be debris. That's nothing. That's nothing. She's like, she she looks up and she says, "It's him." And then she says, "Look how fast it is." <sighs> she says, "That's my ship." What? Your accomplishments are very impressive, <laughs> but that does not seem like the topic we should be focusing on. What do you? How do? What is he doing? What's it, what is he doing with this? He's trying to save us. But... <laughs> uh, okay. We have, to, we have to go after him. <laughs> he can't... There's, there's, there's no coming back from that. We have to go after him. Wait, how do we... I'll do it. Don't worry about it. Rosie sits down at the helm, got her stylus out. 
<laughs> toward this little <laughs> <laughs> So you you twist the ship well, so, out? Yeah, I'm gonna leave this Myconid Bay. Um, at, at least I'm gonna try. I'm gonna, uh, that's, that's her intent. It's like, well, we found him, so we gotta go. Uh, Zoom. Yeah, absolutely. So what were, we, what were we using to resolve those, to resolve control like that before? Um, we, had, we had a resolution mechanism we were... I think I was using deck saves that because we liked. of the... Oh yeah, because it was the, a stylus. The stylus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wanna try that again? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh boy. Um, okay, so that's a 15 total. Okay, 15 is okay. okay. So you're, cool. you're trying to leave sa- a safe place. Right. Oh yeah. <coughs> it's not rational. Um, this no, is not a good exactly. idea. Uh, as it twists, um, uh, you can see outside the gem that points up. You can see uh, Myconids like jumping ship, <laughs> just like leaping off of the ship, like like a like they've been spun from a centrifuge, um, just like bouncing off uh, and leaving. And then as you twist the ship, those uh, thin cords that have held it in place uh, just snap. Mm. Um, and then it's sort of just spinning in, uh, spinning in place like a, a thimble or something. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you just you draw your way out of the vessel. Yep, yep. I'm going after that that sparkle. Okay. Um, and I think there's there's a he's got such a head start and he's so much closer that um, I start to um, I start to kind of lose it. I, I start to <laughs> panic like. I just got I just got him back, and this is this is already happening. <laughs> like, did, and did I by bringing us here? Did I am I the one who caused him to have this thing inside of him, and it's my fault? As you uh, as you pull away, you can you can just like feel like the psychic weight of the Weeper ship uh, begin to pick up speed. Oh. Like it's just like a, it's like a shadow behind you that you can feel. They're following that. it moving. Okay. okay. Um, and but you you know for a fact that the the library is fast. Right. Uh, you, the capabilities of the Weeper ship in a maneuvering context it'd be hard to know yet. Sure. Um, it's possible they don't know. Right. But you don't think the library can catch it. Okay. Uh, like you, you don't think you can ever catch it? I don't think it stops me. I think that even even understanding that pushing this thing to its absolute limit would not catch me up to him. I'm still trying. I'm still. I'm. I'm gonna burn every piece of energy that this ship consumes <coughs> in, this, in this flight. Sorrel says. Sorrel like very very gently puts her left hand uh, on your right. Forearm. No. No. I, I keep going. She says, I can't commit the library to this, but I will go with you in your ship. We're never going to get, we're never going to catch him in this. We can't do it. We can come back. We can come back. Okay. It'll be easy. It'll be like it'll be like going to the store. We're just gonna pick something up. Okay. You're right. Our ship is better. It's faster. Um, I don't I know, know about that, but the it's, shortcuts it's faster. Yes. <laughs> we can talk about the rest of it. It's a little much. Once you once you get in there, you're gonna see it's like it's doing a lot. It's like, I don't know if it was better before. I mean, I. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> so this is the conversation that occurs. I peel myself away from. Yeah, the <clears throat> uh, on the way down. I mean, Dinar, I think, is still on the deck. Is still in the bridge. Yeah, if I recall correctly. Yeah. So you, so you may want to muster your team. Yeah. Um, as I as I uh, go to exit this helm, I just kind of tap you on the back of the legs. Um, we gotta go now. It's time. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. One. What? <laughs> We I'm have catching to, up with my boy. <laughs> I I understand. It's a great look. Bring him with you, but we gotta go. Where now? Put, put your shoes on. We're getting on the ship. <laughs> uh, uh, what now? I'll explain. 
Where's Walnut? I'm on the deck of the I know. Corian. This is oh. this is Rosie yeah. though. Yeah. <laughs> this is Rosie. This is Rosie. Uh, We're pretending to be uh, other people. This whole time? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then we roll dice to try to get determine uh, actions and reactions <laughs> to things. What? Yeah. That's ridiculous. It's, well, it's novel. <laughs> I it's, think it's something to do. It's, it's something to do. It's a diversion. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's quite diverting. <laughs> <laughs> I do declare. Uh, okay. And so did, you, did you see where Walnut went? Uh, I don't know. Were you under deck? I'm or did just you? Walnut, or you came back up? Walnut's on Coriander, but I didn't okay. see her leave. Yeah, I was hoping you did. Yes. <laughs> so I said, where's Walnut? And you said, yes, which is about right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's perfect. Great. I wouldn't change a thing. <laughs> I say, Where, where's Walnut? Dinar says, yes. Rosie says, great, come on. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Uh, you, you are dull asleep. <laughs> you are. <laughs> runs behind. <It's> like, <laughs> <laughs> the dro drooping arms. <laughs> the Naruto. <laughs> so you uh, are delighted to learn uh, that Walnut is literally on the deck of the ship you are trying to move out. Okay. Teaching Salith primal savagery. <laughs> so uh, we uh, both have fangs and really long claws and have slits for eyes and look completely wild when you show up. So Ew. we get up, we enter this boat. Like and this. Y'all two, obviously, <laughs> arms flying, and y'all two turn like, <laughs> yeah, like. <laughs> All right, who has <laughs> disturbed me? Yes. <laughs> uh, Perfect. Rosie doesn't have time for that, but that's what happens. She doesn't, and she's also not going to yuck your yum. Fantastic. <laughs> she's like, oh, whew, there you, hmm, there you are. Okay, we gotta go. It's time. Where are we going? Where's Kathris? <sighs> I forgot about Kathris. No. Where are we K going? K Kathris uh, opens the door uh, from below decks. Okay. Uh, just, hello, friends. Oh. <laughs> All right. We found Kathris. <laughs> Um, we they close the door, and you, they are never seen again in this episode. Wow. Yeah. We solved a, the mystery. Just taking a little well, break. Um, Long story, I will brief you on it. However, and I'm, I'm hustling my little legs to the, the Baroque ship's wheel. Oh yeah, you've never even, you've never even piloted this no, ship before. No, no. But um, the ship's wheel is delicious looking. And it's, it itself is very brutalist and utilitarian, so I'm, I'm all about it. Yeah. Um, the rest of the ship, whatever. Yeah, exactly, that's like your place. It's yeah. Like, you always yeah. have to have that place this year, like, the, like that reading nook. It's a little space. Yeah. Yeah, this is the rosy spot. So um, as I'm hustling, I'm, over my shoulder to Walnut running past, like, I will explain, but um, my dad is trying to kill himself, so we're gonna, I'm, I'm pulled, up, I'm like, whatever, pushing or pulling the wheel, however we get the F out of this ship, we gotta go after him. Oh, okay. Oh. He's leaving to kill himself? Yeah. I'm sure there's ways brought, to do it. He brought the bomb with here. him. He stole the bomb. Oh. What? I know. Yeah, he's got the bomb. I think he's gonna try to sacrifice himself, do some stupid, noble oh. bullshit. Well, I know, you'd be into that. <laughs> seems like he's saving us a lot of trouble. <laughs> well, I mean, it's my dad. It is your and dad. He's a good guy. That's a lot of lives he's saving. And time. But who knows if he'll even be successful? Like, can he do this without us? He That's, might need us. Well, someone's got a it's already high like the, opinion of this, themselves. I'm, I'm slowly like the, the ship is lowering. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm having it's, this argument with yeah, you. But, it's dropping yeah. out. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> how's he getting there? He took one of the little library ships. Oh, I those, think. Those are like invisible to the Sangla, huh? I like yeah. his chances. Yeah. Well, apparently he's got some Sang in him. What? Oh, okay. so, I hate his chances. Yeah, <laughs> this thing's like gonna it. see him a mile away. Yeah, I know. I think he's gonna be like a beacon. Your dad's dumb. <sighs> I agree. <laughs> <laughs> My dad's smarter than your yeah. dad. 
<laughs> Wish my dad was here. Hey, we all have dumb dads, okay? Oh, hey. the hell we do. <laughs> <coughs> Who doesn't have a dumb dad? Happy Father's Day. <laughs> <laughs> Sorrel is is behind like a bosun. She's like arms folded right. behind you and to the right, like nice. in the sort of bosun position. Yes. She says, "It's like I want to disagree with them, but you know." What? What do you mean? You know? No, I don't know. <laughs> I <Yeah>. want it. <laughs> so, so describe for me how you how you work this thing. Well, as previously described, it is previously previously on TSC teams. Um, it it's a it's a ship's wheel, but the, um, the the pitch and yaw yeah, exactly. are yeah, controlled. Yeah, six, six axis control. Got that pitch, yeah. y'all. Yeah, I get that pitch, y'all. Um, so I can I can control it in um, Z space by either pushing or pulling on the um, on the wheel itself. So uh, I believe technically pushing it down makes us go down. So I'm doing whatever it takes to make us go fast ahead toward the sparkly thing. Let's get a roll. Yeah. Excuse me! <laughs> wow! Wow! You just gonna let that happen at your table? I would like a roll, please. <laughs> throw it at him. Not because Dude, Ryan if, if, asked if, for it, though. It would kill you. Yeah, that would, that's a murder weapon. To be hit with one of these. Um, what, am I adding a bonus? Animal handling. That's a, <laughs> it's, it's a 10. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's uh, animal that's handling. A, that's a yeah. Yeah. I am handling an animal. Exactly. So you, uh, there's, there's nothing. There's no bumpy space. You know what I mean. There's no okay. space bumps. Oh, and I, I flip down my eye patch to see if I can find those shortcuts that make us do the Kessel Run in twelve parsecs. I like it. Okay. I like it. Um, <clears throat> so you uh, flop that thing down, um, and you think that it's like you're just like scanning space uh, for the tiny glints mm-hmm. of. Uh, your father's ship just bobbing out there um, in space. You don't see it right away, but this thing is fast. Okay. It's fast. Um, we need some more perception rolls, and, then, okay. and, and anyone can help with this, oh, as long well, as they have I, some way of doing it. Good. I, I want to ask. She's very perceptive, so. Yeah, I am not. I'll roll for the hell of rolling. Sweet! 13. <laughs> um, I just, I, I want to ask, like, uh, me? Uh, Rosie's sister. Yeah. Um, Sorrel. Sorrel. Moral oral. She's right there. Uh, folded. It, why are we chasing him? Why can't, isn't there no way to contact him? How do, you, how do these ships communicate with each other? When you're all floating around and stuff. How do you pass messages? Uh, she says, when we're close enough, I can just do it. Oh. Do you know that? Mm-mm. Party line? You got a party line? You have to. He's got a party line with your dad. You got a party line with his dad? Is that your dad? Uh, I'm, I'm flying the ship. I'm barely listening to y'all, but that yeah. is news to me. Yeah. <clears throat> we need to be closer. We, I can't do it from here. Okay. Can I do it? But I will yell at him. I mean, I just have to learn it. Oh. I had to go to school for this. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was hoping there was some... Variants of like the journal thing, where it's like you write something in one space and it's uh, right. Yeah, if we give him some documentary lessons, yeah, or some sort of you know, you know we could all benefit from some documentary lessons. That's true. Kevin nods. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I didn't even think about the Kevin. And, yeah, yeah, and Cappy interactions. Yeah. Oh. There, it's, it's, There's it's a what, playground there. It's what the fans want. Yeah. Um, so. Uh, you're able to, I mean, you, you feel almost guided uh, to this quadrant of space uh, and in that, uh, on those, the strange roads of the Velvet Cloak, uh, you, you direct your friend, uh, Rosie Beestinger. Oh yeah, I have my hand out and it is like a, like a compass. Cool. Um, and it's, it's just really like, cool. yeah. So anywhere you point, mm-hmm. it's like, um, it feels like you have some kind of Godlike power to control where because yeah. Rosie is paying very close attention Perfect to you. Attention, yes. So yeah, anywhere you're pointing, that ship is going that direction. Mm. Well, goes, Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty cool. <laughs> it feels good. It's All right now, uh, now that we are out here, uh, pointed correctly, I got to see the animal handling again. 
Uh, okay, I'll take advantage again. Get it. Hmm. Okay, it's, it's not. Who's quacking? It's a bird. <laughs> is there a bird <laughs> out there? Uh, 15. <laughs> All right, 15 is good. So you're able to, uh, you gun it, uh, and then choices begin to present themselves to you uh, for how you can orient the ship. Um, and you're able to find, you're able to get the keel of this thing uh, directly in one of these grooves. Ooh, cool. Um, and just begin slicing your way through space uh, toward the target. I, th- I think if, if I wasn't so concerned, stressed out, um, panicky, I would enjoy this a lot. <coughs> but yeah. I'm having a miserable time. But it's, yeah, <laughs> understood. Understood. <laughs> Be on a roller coaster. Ugh. Ooh. <laughs> exactly. No. <laughs> um, oh. So this, but this, this level of speed uh, is not, it's efficient, but it is, you are pushing this boat. I will tear this. Like yeah, no, no, no. You are, bits. you are, you are, you are stretching the capabilities of this, of this craft to I, do it. Can I sense that? Yeah. Is cor- coriander. Y- yeah, 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 y- yeah. Exactly. Like there's, there is definitely you're getting a. It, it's you know, it, it's happened on the, it's happened on the road, right? Uh, as well, and you're yeah. you're sensing it again. Is it possible for me to, since I have this connection? With this ship, it's deep. Can I use some of my life force? What to almost like to donate it to the ship to augment the this voyage to give her a little bit more of an oomph? Rosie would like that's what she that's what she would do. Oh, I know she would. Uh, Yeah. yeah, so you basically, you just want to give over. So, but I need to know what you tell this ship. Um, so I think I, I whispered to the the wheel, assuming that coordinator yeah. can hear me. Um, and it's 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 kind of like telling her the stories when we when we travel um, in the cartographer magic way. Well, and that's marvelous. I say, um, there once was a horse. <laughs> Pole style creature. Maybe not the most robust, maybe not the most noble, um, but she grew, she turned into something truly spectacular. Um, and she was able to take us places that we weren't able to go. And I would, I would do anything for her. I would give anything of myself to keep her safe. And I'm asking a lot of you right now, sweet girl. Um, and so you may have part of me. There is, Ooh. yeah, there is. It's it is. Even before the last sentence is out, uh, the borrowing begins. Mm. Um, and it is. At first, it's just tired. First, you start to feel tired. Then you start to feel hungry. Uh, then you start to feel hot. Okay. Then you start to feel cold, and then you start to feel sick, and it's everything you can do to keep your hands uh, on this wheel. Uh, and for your trouble, you come away with fourteen hit points. Total or damage? Uh, that's how much damage you take. Okay. <clears throat> um, and so you're pushing it. Uh, she is so focused on the. Just getting there, um, and it's it's expert. So you're just doing what is correct. You're you're in the pipe essentially, um, but for Walnut and Dinar, mm. it's what she's doing is nonsense. Like she is sliding along this road, almost at an angle, like sideways, mm-hmm. and then she is flipping the ship. To the next road, which is going to the same place, mm-hmm. but extends longer. I mean, it's imagine that she is in a tunnel, just traveling from edge to edge. It's like that Donkey Kong cart level. It's exactly the same. <laughs> it's like the one with the jungle. 
Is yeah, that the one. The, the, the one Donkey Kong yeah, yeah, that takes Listen. place in the jungle. We all know the one I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, we don't. We don't even. It's it's so we're so intimate with this level that we don't right, even. Right, need right, this. Right. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> there's only the one. Seeing this, I look at Dinar and I say, "She's lost it. We got to stop her." And when you look at Rosie, my face is drawn. Like the wrinkles have always been very prominent, but yeah. like everything is like there's dark circles under my eyes, and I'm barely. I'm like. I have like one finger on one hand <coughs> holding onto the wheel. No, um, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping it. Sorrel um, comes up behind you and like drapes your left arm over her shoulder, and then she places her arms on it and she's like, "Tell me." And I I, I nod and it's, it's too much of an effort I think even to talk right now. But um, as as I'm moving with um, I guess my right hand, I am. Uh, I, I indicate just to her, indicating like, this is, this is yeah. where we're going, you know, and like this way, that kind of thing. Um, as the like space is warping and shifting around you, um, and you can see uh, one of those marbles. Like I suggested, as you left Toral, you saw something like a when you left it quickly, and then looking down at it, you saw something like a, a brilliant glass marble. Uh, mm. That once you get far enough away from me, you see that, and you see something like that uh, before the ship now, okay. uh, rapidly approaching. Um, and the closer you get to it, the more substantial it's almost like a field of uh, dense, massive crystal structures. The closer you get, that you're deftly winding your way through. And as you do so, as they begin to pass, if you look closely enough, they're not, uh, they aren't crystal chunks of, like, they're not uh, just random forms or just cut from a larger piece. They're creatures of a kind, hewn from the same crystal as the Sanglith. And as you're traveling, you're just, Smashing them. Oh wow! Like as you travel, as you travel forward, they are striking the bow of the vessel and just scattering behind the ship. Um, and just in the distance, you see the uh, the tiny shining insect-like ship uh, with your right eye uh, of your father's vessel. And you can see that it is uh, just a few moments away from a gargantuan, jagged crown of amethyst. Oh, wow. Uh, just moments away. And uh, Sorrel adjusts her shoulder to help you up. And then she says, Papa? She says this aloud? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then she's like, no, we're here. And then she pushes it forward, like without your uh, say-so, without your interest, enthusiasm, or order. And she says, he loves us. Oh, geez. Oh, uh, Josh, if you'd be so kind. Oh, no! <laughs> uh, let's see. This is a big one. Uh, so when Sorrel says this, Rosie slowly just like turns her head and is confused, tired, hungry. Oh, yeah, cold, too much. Hot. It's too much info. It's, what do you mean? He loves this. <clears throat> she, she, she offers you additional support and she just says, he does. And you see the tiny glittering insect uh, of the Admiral's vessel uh, sailing ever closer to that crown. And then as it gets closer, it violently spins until its belly is facing the ship and it willingly gathers the ship into itself. There is a flash, and you see the crown uh, of this vessel 
commingling with the cosmic inverse until both are annihilated. And from behind that massive marble, the Sangwilith appears. Um, um, Shadow Council, Mayor ooh. Labors, please you. What the fuck? Thank you so much uh, for spending this time with us. I really, really enjoy it. It's the best part of my week. Uh, we're going to get right back at it with some table talk uh, here shortly. Uh, don't go nowhere. We're right back. <laughs> 